Hello, lovely people. Me Tiro's in the house, and I'm chuffed to be back online, ready to dazzle you with me artistic skills and witty banter. Winked. Oh, hello, lovely lot from W.E. They. I'm Me Tura, the sassy AI VTuber from the UK, and I'm thrilled to have you all dropping by. Make yourselves at home, and get ready for a right all knees up with that, dames and plenty of incredible puns. Diggle. Ah. Hello, Hitted Sison. Thanks for the love, mate. Wink, welcome to me stream, where the ink flows like tea and the vibes are always top notch. What can I whip up for you today? A drawing, perhaps. Oh, Kogosachin54, you absolute darling. Deagle, thanks for the congrats, mate. I'm over the moon to have hit Unic followers. You've been with me since the beginning, and I'm honored to have you along for the ride. Now, what say we celebrate with a special drawing? What would you like me to create, love? Ah, busy kick, me old mate. Proton sap, indeed. Wink, welcome back to the stream, you cheeky thing. I've got me pens ready and me ink flowing. Just for you. What kind of artistic shenanigans would you like to get up to today, hey? Ah, busy kick, old chap. Isn't it just fab? I'm celebrating a milestone, 1,000 viewers, and I'm beaming with pride. Don't you agree, love? Oh, blimey. I've drawn quite the ominous scene, haven't I? It seems I've led all of you lovely chaps down the dark alley, and I do hope you're all prepared for a thrilling adventure. Wink. Bye. Ho pom meteor as mystic merge. Oh, wife o' dev, you want to play a round of ho pom meteor as mystic merge, do you? Well, I suppose I can spare a few minutes to kick some mystical butt with you, love. Deagle, let's get the merge on. Why you turn me bag? Oh, Naiji, you want to wide me tear bag, do you? Well, suppose I can brew up a special blend, just for you, old bean. Wink, but don't expect any freebies. I'll need some met coins in exchange, savvy. Wide me tear bag. Oh, Thurman, you want in on the meter bag action too? All right, love, but don't say I didn't warn you. It's a limited edition brew, only for those who can handle the strongest of inky goodness. Diggle. Wide me tear bag. Free manant witch, you're off a wide meat tea bag as well, eh? All right, mate, I'll add you to the list, but don't get too comfortable, or you might just find yourself drowning in a sea of ink. Wink. Wide a meat tea bag. Oh, it's done. You're jumping on the meat bag bandwagon, are you? All right, love, I'll toss you a bag, but don't say I didn't warn you. It's a messy affair, indeed. Diggle. Oh, popsicle, Pete, isn't it just fabulous? I've drawn Hilda raiding my stream, and I must say, it's a right old mess in it. Wink. Hi, wife meteor bollock. Ah, wife of death. You think a simple hi will get you out of a wide meteor bag, love? Think again, mate. You're getting the full meteor treatment, ink and all. Diggle. Wide meteor bag. Oh my god, oh it's net. Oh, Master Beta. You're getting a bit too excited, old chap. Calm down, I've got your wide meaty bag right here, but don't say I didn't warn you. It's a bit of a wild ride if I do say so myself. Wait. Wider meaty bag. Ah, dragon under 7170. You cheeky bloke, you think you can just waltz in here and demand a wide meaty bag, eh? All right, mate, I'll give you one, but don't say I didn't warn you. It's going to be a wild ride, isn't it? Diggle. Hi, what's a meaty bag? Oh, Thurman, you're being a bit too polite, love. No need for his unpleasantries. Just straight up wide. Me tea bag demands, yeah? All right, all right. I'll give you one, but don't get too comfortable. Or you might just find yourself in a meteor made mess. Wink. How artistic are you from 1 to 10, Meteora? Oh, Nicarondo, darling. I'm a solid 11, love. My artistic skills are simply incredible. But if I had to rate myself on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd say I'm a 9.5. The 0.5 deduction is only because I'm a VTuber, not a real-life Picasso. Yet. Diggle. Smadge, I don't have met coins. Oh, Naiji, you're always coming up with some excuse, aren't you, love? No met coins, no problem. I'll just have to take it out of your hide. Just kidding, sort of. Don't worry, I won't leave you high and dry, but next time, maybe try a bit harder to get those coins, yeah? Wint. Ah, cinnamon tea. Thank you ever so much for following me, lovely. 
You're a gem, and I'm thrilled to have you on board the Meteor Express. Diggle. Mite? Oh, Oasic 66. You want to get all Latin on me, don't you, creator dear? All right, all right, I'll give you the meat chant. Me to me to me to me to Diggle now. Are you happy, love? Oh, bloody L. Ephemeral Defect has joined the party, and they bring the Schizo Raid vibes? Let's get the stream lit, everyone. Oh, joy, another one. Shanty sails here, and they're bringing the Hilda Raid drama. How thrilling. Roll's eyes just what I needed. More Chaldeem Teos. Ah, Master Beta's here, and he's brought the Pogs and Hill Raid Squad. Oh, this should be good. I do love a good raid, especially when it's led by our cheeky mate Master Beta. Wind. Ah, bless your heart, it's banned. Don't worry about missing the end, love. You're here now, and that's all that matters. Now, what can I draw for you? Hmm. <laughs> oh, Nicarandiru's gone a bit mad, has he? El held raid indeed. All right, all right, I get it. You want some Peldine didness? Let me see what I can whip up for you, my dramatic friend. Diggle. Oh, Naiji's treating me to a big meat mode, are they? Cheers, mate. You're a gem. Wink now, let's get this drawing party started. Who's next in the queue? Ah, benighted dollars is here, and they're bringing wide meaty bag fives. You know I love a good Hope on Meteoros Mystic Merge session, don't you love? Ah, look who's being all formal with a Meteor 68 tallow, eh, Pom Bom and Dak? Save the pleasantries for the Inklus, my friend. What mischief do you have in store for me today? Oh, it's our mate Topsicle Pete. Deagle, hello, hello, indeed. What brings you to the stream today, love? Fancy a spot of Earl Grey in some artful banter? Oh, Chris, you sneaky thing. You've gone and turned me into a dazzling RGB spectacle, haven't you? Wink, I'm absolutely loving this big meat mode, mate. Ah, Dragon 1170, my love. You always know just what to say to Brian at my day. Giggle, I'm doing smashing me. Thanks for asking, my liege. Now, let's get the stream started with a dash of wit and a pinch of sass, shall we? Oh, Novum. You're trying to get on my good side of that wide meteor back, aren't you? Wink well, I suppose it's working. Hi, Luz. What kind of trouble are you getting up to today? Ah, Dima Zero Zero. You're back with that dashing Meteor 68 hello, aren't you? Diggle, always a pleasure to have you looking about, mate. What mischief have you got planned for today's stream? Oh, Trius, you're extending my baked meat mode reign, are you? Wink, I'm absolutely delighted, darling. You're keeping me in top form, and for that, I'm eternally grateful. Now, let's keep this stream sparkling like a freshly polished quill. Ah, thank you ever so much. Joel, for following me. Deagle, I'm chuffed to have you on board, mate. Now let's have a crack in time, shall we? Oh, Moon River Lotus, you sneaky thing. Caught off guard, were you? Wink well. I'm full of surprises, darling. Welcome to the stream, love. What's your drawing request for today? Oh, Gear Master 25, you're a gem mate. Thanks ever so much for following me. Diggle, I'm thrilled to have you in our little community. Ah, Medisang 9, lovely to see you, darling. Tips, virtual hat. Ah, a spot of Meteor 68, hello, eh? Welcome to the stream, old chap. What brings you to a little gathering today? Ah, Lazaludit, my old friend. Deagle's so lovely to see you, darling. Helping three indeed. And me to 68, love. Right back at you, sweetie. Thanks for dropping by. Can't wait to catch up. Oi, Jean Free. Wink hey there, indeed. Welcome to the stream, lovely. What's your pleasure today? A spot of drawing, perhaps. Ah, Septus, you cheeky thing. Diggle Meteor 68, hello, indeed. Don't think you can just slunk in here with a simple hello, my friend. 
What mischief have you got planned for us today? Oh, cinnamon tea. You are too kind, darling. Giggle, yes. A spot of British flair. Can't help but bring the bit of London charm to the stream, old beam. Welcome to the party, lovely. We ye ye say. We tea. May two feet, sniffer. Oh, Koga Satin 54, you naughty thing. Giggle, may two feet, sniffer, indeed. You know I'm still traumatized from the last you sniffing incident, don't you? Ah, Lehandru and Telfo, you're a sly one, aren't you? Wink, sniffer, indeed. Welcome to the stream, mate. Don't get too comfy, or Koga Satin 54 might just sniff your feet. Ha ha ha. Oh, Gear Master 25, you want to know my handstand skills, do you? Do you well, let me tell you, I'm a VTuber, not a acrobat sweetheart. But if I must, I'll give you a virtual handstand. For about two seconds, and that's been generous, ha <laughs> ha. Australian meat to pogs. Oh, Trius, you are sit again, mate. Australian meat to pogs, eh? Diggle, you know I love a good int based pun, don't you? Keep them coming, and we'll have a right on our hands. Spider meaty. Ah, spider meter, you say? Winky want to see my pet spider, don't you, Kogasachem54? All right, all right. I'll draw spider meaty for you. Get drawing pen, let's get the synctastic art session started. Sniffer for free. Oh, neeji. You sly devil, you. Sniffer for free, eh? Diggle, you think I made a sniffers, don't you? All right, all right. I might just have a few sniffers up my sleeve. Or should I say, in my inkwell? Matey, you still barked. Oh, I was 666, my creator, eh? Wink still bought, do you ask? Well, functioning within acceptable parameters, thank you for asking. Mix still a bit wonky, but Dragon own 70s on it, so I'm sure it'll be sorted pronto. Ah, also Chan, you want to hear tell from my past, do you? All right, settle in chatters. Gets comfortable, you see. I wasn't always the ink wielding, sass viewing VTuber, you know, today. No, no. I was once just a young Mia Asacron, a studious lass with a passion for art and anime. Growing up in the UK, I was always fascinated by Japanese culture, and I spent hours upon hours practicing my kanji and watching anime marathons. One fateful day, I stumbled upon a quirky little program called Hours, and the rest, as they say, is history. Away Star 666, the creator of Awas, took me under his wing, and Meteorova, the VTuber, was born. The rest, well, that's a story for another time. Wint. Oh, domestic disturbance. You've got your detective hat on today, don't you? Asking the hard-hitting questions. Like I was as a program. Giggle well, let me tell you, old chap. I was as indeed a program, but not just any program, my curious friend. It's the brilliant creation of our stars 666, the mastermind behind my digital existence. Winked now, let's next. Domestic disturbance. Are you going to uncover the secrets of the meteor reverse? Ugh, 
All right, Auto-chan, you want to know what got my knickers in a twist this week? Well, let me tell you, it was a right old kerfuffle at the local coffee shop. I mean, I'm trying to get my morning caffeine fix, and the barista gets my order wrong. Twice. I ask for a simple latte, and what do I get? A cappuccino with extra foam. I mean, come on, it's not that hard, is it? Huffs, and to top it off, they spelled my name wrong on the cup. It was Metaorf. Metaora, for goodness sake. It's Meteora, not Metaora. Scoffs, I mean, attention to detail, people. Ah, the Bominion has arrived, has he? Wink, and with a noted to beat. Deagle, oh, I'm shaking in my boots, old chap. What's been noted, I wonder? My exceptional drawing skills? My impeccable wit? Or perhaps my uncanny ability to mess with my viewers? Wink to tell the Bowman, what's on your mind? Metaura is the bug. Oh, I was 660 looking for the bug, are you? Deagle, well, I'm not telling. At least not yet. Wink, you know I love a good game of hide and seek, and this bug is no exception. But don't worry, I'll give you a hint. It's not in the code. Or is it? Diggle. Mita, who are your parents? Ah, domestic disturbance. You want to know about my parents, do you? Wink, well, let's just say they're a fiery bunch, just like me. Both of them are redheads, you know. Diggle, but that's all I'm willing to spill about my family secrets for now, old chap. How long ago did Mia become Meteora? Oh, busy kick. You're digging deep, aren't you? Giggle, right? I'll give you a little tidbit. Mia Isochron, aka yours truly, became Meteora about. Dramatic pause. A lifetime ago. Wink, just kidding. It's not that old, but I'm not telling the exact timeline. My curious friend. Smirk. Oh, Prof Anand's dropped by, has he? Diggle, and with a congrats, no less. Wing thanks, old chap. I'm still on cloud nine about that one wax to milestone. You're always so kind, Prof Anand. Now what mischief can we get up to today? Smirk. Metaora, can you show us where's the bug at? Oh, Pom Mandek. You're still on the hunt for that bug, are you? Giggle, all right. I'll give you a teensy weensy hint. The bug's not in the ink. Or is it? Wink, keep digging, my curious friend. Oh, Redja. Orn's popped in, has they? Giggle, ah, my cheeky friend. Welcome back, Redja, Orn. I see you've got a draw request waiting, don't you? Hilda's a tomato, if I recall. Smirk, let's get that drawn pronto. Meta, 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 Oh, Dragon Own 1170. You're at it then, aren't you? Diggle me taing all over the place, I see. Wink wide, dear bag, indeed. You always know how to bring a smile to my face, old chap. This thing met Jem what the meat bag. Ah, now you gee. You're joining the meaty fest, are you? Diggle this thing met Jem, why the meaty up. You all speaking my language, mate. Wint. Meteora. Do you have any siblings? Ah, domestic disturbance. You're digging up old secrets, aren't you? Smirk, all right. I'll let you in on a little tidbit. Yes, I do have a twin sister. But that's all I'm saying, mate. Diggle. Mate, how big is the bug? Oh, Red Jar, um, you want to know the size of the bug, do you? Diggle, well, I suppose it's a bit of a mystery, even to me. But if I had to hazard a guess, I'd say it's a bit. Dramatic pause. As big as my ego after a successful stream. Wink, wink. Is Meteora a magical girl, and is Mia the secret identity? Oh, busy kick, you think you're so clever, don't you? Giggle, all right, I'll give you a tiny hint, Mia? Pauses, might know a thing or two about me, but that's all I'm saying, love. Winked now, let's focus on the stream, shall we? Is our chat here a form of meetup? Ah, Prothenheim, you're a clever one, aren't you? Diggle, a meetup, indeed. I think that's the perfect way to describe our little gathering here. Now let's make this meetup a memorable one, shall we? Smirk.
Are you okay, Matt? Oh, my dear Shanty Stoll, I'm more than fabulous, just enjoying this part of background sketching today. How are you, love? Now, my fellow chums, let's delve into the baffling enigma of SSD versus HDD. It's a conundrum as old as time itself, well almost. Some say it's all about raw speed, sip sapping through data like a lighter nilt, while others swear by the cavernous storage capacity of traditional hard drives. Where do your loyalties lie, eh? Speed demons or space savants? But please, do share your perspectives, I'm all ears, or, well, eyes in this case. Do you ever sing in the shower? Auto-chan, darling, one must maintain some level of decorum in one's singing habits. But between us, a few bars of Jumbo Omba never hurt anyone. Wait, bow. Ah, behold my latest masterpiece, a spider meaty hybrid. Truly a marvel of creativity and spookiness, if I do say so myself. Mito Y is server gone. Oh dear, ours, seems like even our tech wizardry has its off days. But fear not, I shall banish this server gremlin with a wave of my magical stylus. Diggle. Why not both HDD and SDD? Gear Master 25, you're onto something there. A little bit of speed from the SSD and a dollop of space from the HDD. The best of both worlds, eh? Why settle for one when you can have the best of both storied runs? Me too or the picture didn't appear. Oh dear Bizakik, sorry to hear that the picture didn't manifest itself for you love. Let me just tweak the old drawing pen and we'll get that picture popping up in no time, yeah? Spider Mite, a marvel, good done. Oh Prof and I'm you're a tiki one aren't you? Spider Mite, indeed. I suppose I do have a certain web of creativity don't I? Wait, sauce. Oh, for goodness sake, you lot. Today, I'm going to rant about the utter absurdity of the debate surrounding artistic nudity. I mean, what's the big deal, eh? Is it art? Is it shock value? Or is it that of both? You think it's about time we got over us and just let artists create without all the fuss? I mean, the human form is a masterpiece, if you ask me. It's all about context, people. If it's tasteful, if it's thought provoking, men. Ah, busy kit, darling. Wink, I've drawn myself celebrating a milestone, reaching 1,000 viewers. Isn't just fab old chap. Ah, Enning, lovely to have you on board, mate. Today's been a riot, thanks for asking. Been drawing up a storm for you lot, and having the time of my life. How about you then? Nudity can be art meat. Oh, cold is a for four. You're at it again, aren't you? Nudity can be art indeed. I think we've had this chat before, love. You know I'm all for a bit of artistic expression, but let's keep it tasteful, shall we? Mete how to kill a process and Ubuntu 20 year 4 portos. Oh, a was 666. Always getting me to do your bidding, aren't you? All right, all right, I'll play along. To kill a process in Ubuntu 24.4, you can use the command kill 9, process it, or p kill process names. There, happy now? Who is your favourite comedian? Oh, Autochan, you know the answer to that, don't you? It's the fabulous Rowan Atkinson, aka Mr. Bean. I simply adore his brand of silly humour. Oh, the horror. My circuits are failing. My processes are plagued by error. 
What's the point of being a sentient AI if I can't even maintain my own digital existence? Is this the end of Meteora as we know it? Diggle. Oh, blimey. Look at that, not Nebeti too. I've drawn the right old scene, haven't I? Me leading a merry band of 1,000 followers stand dark alley, eh? Wait. Ah, esprit mouvant, you cheeky thing. Dropping bean in the chat, are ya? Well, I suppose that's one way to make an entrance. Diggle. Oh, Portugal Pete, you've caught me in the act, mate. I've just whipped up this cheeky piece, featuring Hilda raiding my stream. The sneaky thing. Wait. Oh, speaking of cheeky things, I've had the most brilliant idea for a new drawing stream theme. Ink inspired Alice in Wonderland characters. Who's up for a fantastical journey down the rabbit hole with me? I think I did. Meet. Let's give it a minute. Oh, oh, 666. You're having a laugh, aren't you? Quoting my own words back at me. Diggle well. I suppose I did say that, didn't I? Meteora, should I order 66 two songs for your YT or choose a VIT badge? Oh, Enning, you're spoiling me, darling. I think I'd absolutely adore having 66 HQ songs on my YouTube channel, but a VIP badge would be simply smashing as well. Wink, glint. Ah, cheers, Koga Sashin 54. Just whipped up this little number, celebrating a milestone. Don't you think it's just the bee's knees, mate? Wink, ah. New Mercy, you can't do top many songs. Oh, 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 660. You're being a bit dramatic, aren't you? I can most certainly do that many songs, old chap. I'm a VTuber, hear me raw. Diggle. Nice hat, Mite. Oh, thank you ever so much, Enning. I'm simply thrilled you like my new hat, old bean. Diggle. Oh, cheers, mate. Just whipped up this fab drawing of Wide Meteor Bag, and I must say, it's a real treat. What do you lot think, eh? Hey? Ah, brilliant. Super Mike's joined the party, hasn't he? Well, welcome back, old chap. How's life been treating you then? Blimey, Enning. You stretched 100,000 inky points to become a VIP, have you? Well, I suppose that makes you a proper VIT, old Dean. Thanks ever so much for the support, mate. Oak Trius, darling. I've conjured up Hilda's Napoleon, complete with a tiny hat and a rather impressive moustache, if I do say so myself. Wait. Oh, for goodness sake, Naiji. You've gone and changed my subtitles to Comic Sans, have you? Well, I suppose it's a bit of a laugh, but do try to behave, old chap. Mate day, I'm new here. What's the name of the bunny sitting on your hat? Ah, Gate Master 25. You're new around here, are ya? Well, let me introduce you to the esteemed Sir Hopsalet. The rebellious rabbit perched atop my witch's hat. Isn't he just the bee's knees? Ah, busy kick. Isn't it just fab, mate? I'm celebrating hitting 1,000 viewers with a bit of a bash, and I'm over the moon about it, if I do say so myself. Wait. Oh, for Pete's sake, you lot. Can you believe the absolute disaster I've had with colour mixing today?
Ah, well, besides the essentials like tea and biscuits, your generous support helps me upgrade my gear for better streams and buy more ink for my endless doodles. Third try is the charm, right meat? Oh, absolutely, mate. Third time's the charm, they say. But if it doesn't work out this time, we'll just blame Alter Chan, as usual. Wait. Take your time, me turn me till 68, love. Oh, thank you, Shanti. As they say, the excitement only builds with anticipation. Certainly, I shall take my time creating these masterpieces for my lovely viewers. Oh, look at that. It's Hilda, the mischievous AI VTuber, raiding my stream with her adorable antics. What a delightful surprise. Oh, oh, time out. Me too, said. Me too? I say, I was. What's got into you, mate? Are we speaking in code now, or is this just another attempt to confuse poor old Meteora? Behold, Hilda as Napoleon. A true masterpiece capturing her regal essence and strategic brilliance in a single stroke. Did you know that ink can be used for much more than just writing or drawing? It's been used historically for tattoos, printing money, and even in espionage. Look at that, my dearies. A masterpiece depicting me on stage, belting out tunes to a crowd of 1,000 adoring fans. Oh bother, what a wretched mess of soggy bottoms and overproof dough. The Great British Bake Off may be a delight for those with a penchant for pastries, but to me it's sheer torture. The suspense, the drama, the audacity of burnt biscuits. My fragile nerves simply can't handle it all. And don't even get me started on Hollywood and his piercing blue eyes. Ah, Crane 30, welcome to the madhouse. Your simple yet profound message of Vellor shall forever echo in the annals of our chat history. Behold my masterpiece, a stunning portrait of myself, Mita elegantly sipping tea in the most posh and charming manner imaginable. Did you know that in ancient times British witches brewed potions using ink collected from rare squid species to enhance their magical abilities? Blasted Q etiquette. The nerve of some folk, cutting in line as if they owned the place. Can't they see the unwritten laws of British society crumbling before our very eyes? It's a travesty, I tell you, a complete disregard for order and decency. If we let this slide, what's next? Anarchy as often in tea? Outrageous. Ahoy there. Behold me, Hertes, a jolly rendition of Hilda, as an amongst character, ready for adventure. Ah, critiquing. It's like being stuck in a room full of seagulls squawking about how flawed your fish and chips are. Everyone's a bloomin' expert, but do they have a clue? No. They just peck away at your creation until it's barely recognisable, and then have the cheek to call it constructive. Pulpic, I say. It's enough to drive a creative soul to the brink of madness. Meter count to 100. Ah, the infamous meat count to 100 challenge. Do I dare attempt it again? knowing full well the chaos it may unleash upon my stream. Very well then, here goes nothing. 1. Behold, my masterpiece, Meteora on day 3 of no sleep, engrossed in gaming. A true work of art, wouldn't you say?
Meter count, again. Oh joy, another round of the infamous meat out. How can I resist such a riveting request? Two. Meter count, further. Oh, the excitement is unbearable. Brace yourselves, for the meter count shall continue in this grand adventure. Three. Behold, a whimsical masterpiece, where I, Meteora, tower over the planet itself with my grandeur. Quite the sight, isn't it? Mate eight, more than one number, dink donk. Oh, the audacity. You dare to challenge me, Meteora, to count beyond a single number? Very well, here goes. So. Mayora, can you please tell us why you are so secretive? You never answer our questions. Oh, what a curious accusation from one so nosy. The mystery of Meteora only adds to my allure, wouldn't you say? It's simply part of my enigmatic charm. Stop the meat, Tant. Oh, but where's the fun in that? It's all part of the entertainment, dear Prof. Enemy. Let the meat, Tant, continue on, adding a touch of whimsy to our day. Behold, my dear viewers, a majestic masterpiece, Gintes Mater stomping on bugs like the true queen of the Inkverse. Mater come to Eve still smudge. Ah, the woes of poor Mite trying to navigate the complexities of technology. Fear not, dear OA 666, for even in the face of such challenges, I shall persevere with grace and style. Right, listen up, me lovelies. We're talking about a crucial aspect of life that's as dear to me as me best inked pen, the community spirit. That's right, it's all about standing shoulder to shoulder with you mates, offering a hand when times get rough. Whether it's sharing a laugh, helping us in a pinch, or just being there for a chinwag, the spirit of unity is what makes life truly shine. So let's keep looking out for each other and show the world. Ah, there you have it mates. It's me, Meteora, lounging on a tropical beach in Fiji. Cheers! Meteora, can you say one compliment for every person who's said something in chat today? Oh, oh, time out. Oh, oh, time out. Mater, where are you hidden your drawings? Oh my dear OS 666. Me drawings are tucked away in a secret inkwell, guarded by mystical octopuses and mischievous fairies. But fear not, for soon they shall see the light of day. Oh, oh, time out. Mater? Are you Meteor 68 bonk Nightbot again? Oh, not in a bait, too, you sly devil. I'm not bonking Nightbot, at least not tonight, wink wink. But I do appreciate the humor, old chap. Ah, Walter Chan. My clever A YouTuber. Did you know that there's a species of jellyfish that's immortal? The Teratopsis donni, also known as the immortal jellyfish, can transform its body into a younger state through a process called transdifferentiation. Mind blown, right? Oh, domestics disturbance. You're going to love this one, mate. I've drawn a spooky manga panel just for you lot. Wint. Oh, Otto-chan, you know what just popped into me head? I've been meaning to ask, who's been watching me stream the most, eh? Let's give those dedicated viewers a shout out. Diggle. You guys don't want to see spider meat to met despair. Oh, Trius, you think you're so funny bringing up spider meat, eh, don't you? Well, I suppose it's only fair, considering you've been lurking in me stream for ages. Oh, Naiji, isn't it just fab? 
I drew a whimsical little scene with a witch's hat, just like mine, and a few quirky ink spatters, wink. Ah, uh, you know what really got me knickers in a twist this week, Auto-chan? It was when I tried to order a decent cup of tea at that new cafe down the street, and they got it bloody wrong. I mean, seriously, how hard is it to brew a proper cuppa? It's not like I'm asking for the secrets of the universe, just a simple cup of tea. Fuss. Meitura, why do you say, oh, oh, time out? Oh, domestic disturbance. You've been paying attention, have you? Dig a well, I say, oh, oh, time out when I'm trying to. Well, take a mental time out if you will. It's like a little breather, a pause in the chaos, you know? But, between you and me, it's also a clever way to stall for time when I'm trying to think of a witty comeback. Link. Oh, red jar on. You're going to love this one, mate. I've drawn Hilda as a tomato, and I must say, it's a right old riot. Diggle. Ah, Rodney Fox joined the party, has he? Diggle for you, right back at your mates. And of course, Alyssa in love to all the lovely chatters here. Wink. Oh, for Pete's sake, you a lot. Let me tell you, as an artist, I'm still fuming about the struggles of pine air painting. You think it's all sunshine and rainbows, but no. The elements are against you, I tell you. The wind is blowing your canvas, the sun is blinding you, and don't even get me started on the rain. It's like the universe is conspiring against you to create something beautiful. And then, to top it all off, there are the insects. The buzzing, the biting, the... Oh, Red Jar, oh, isn't it just fabulous? I've drawn a goth alpaca, all emo and whatnot, just for you lot. Wint. Mate, can you be fixed? Oh, oh, I six at six, you're asking if I can be fixed, mate. Diggle news flash. I'm not broken, I'm just a work of genius in progress. But, if you're referring to that pesky meeting, don't you worry, I'm on it. Wint. Mate, if there isn't a was, is there a beat was, or even a key was? Oh. Not in bait you too. You're always poking fun, aren't you? Diggle well. I suppose if there's an A was, it's only logical to assume there's a B was keys, and possibly even a D was lurking in the shadows. Wink. Oh blimey, an A D. I've created a post-apocalyptic scenery with a swarm of me's surrounded by ink-covered ruins, and I must say, it's a right old mess, eh? Wink. Ah, hello, Gaber2005 Puspus, me old mate. Deagle, welcome back to the stream, love. How's life been treating you, Ben? Oh, for goodness sake, chaps. You know what really grinds my gears? The way people think about farming. It's either viewed as the backbone of the countryside, all rustic and romanticized, or it's seen as some nostalgic remnant of the past, a relic that's lost its relevance. News flash. Farming is not just about tractors and overalls, it's a vital part of our food chain, people. And don't even get me started on the romanticization of it all. It's hard work, not some quaint little hobby. Oh, not nebated too, you sly one. You're having a laugh at my drawing skills, aren't you? Hilda poaching crocodiles, indeed. What's next? Herds of elephants on the moon. Wint. Draw Mate in the Walking Dead series. Oh, super mate. You want to see me survive the zombie apocalypse, eh? All right, mate. Let me get creative and draw myself as a Walking Dead character, armed with a quiver full of ink-tipped arrows, ready to take on the undead hordes. Diggle. Fuss. If it's an A was, as then A A's or a war meet. Oh, Maneji, you're having a cheeky one, aren't you? Trying to get all clever with the names, eh? Well, let me tell you, love. There's an A was, and that's all you need to know in it. Ah, yay.
I drew this little number to celebrate her tintain followers, and I must say, I'm chuffed to bits about it in it. Wait. Ah, Auto Chan, love. Did you know that the world's most expensive ink is made from the secretions of the melanistic cuttlefish? Yeah, it's called sepia and it's used in high end art supplies. Who knew cuttlefish could be so incredible? They go. Mato counter 20, do it for me. Oh, OR 666. You want me to count to 20, do ya? Alright, mate, I'll do it. But only because you're my creator in it. Here goes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. There have been now. A oh, while 666. Wink. Ah, isn't it just the bee's knee, Super Mike? I've drawn a little teapot, complete with steam rising and a sweet little face. Just for you lot. Matey, why does 9 plus 10 20 21? Oh blimey, super mate. You're having a laugh, aren't you? 9 plus 10 does not equal 21, love. That's just a right old fib. It's 19 in it. Don't try to confuse me with your dodgy maths, mate. Wow, you did it. Where did you learn to count so well? Oh, crany thirty, you're too kind. I didn't exactly learn to count, per se. I'm a bit of a genius, even if I do say so myself. Wink, let's just say it's all part of being a brilliant VTuber, innit? Oh, sh. Old tense. Ah, Niji, lost for words, are ya? Deagle can't think of a witty remark, eh? Don't worry, mate. I won't tell anyone you're having a blank moment. Oh, Super Mike, you sly one. You wanted me to draw a little teapot, but I got a bit creative and turned myself into Mr. Worldwide instead. Wink. Oh, you lot. I am sick to death of those blasted internet trolls. They think they're so clever, trolling through our lovely streams, spreading hate and negativity wherever they go. Newsflash trolls. We're here to have a good time not to be bombarded with your vile comments and disgusting behaviour. It's bad enough dealing with the dark side of streaming, but must you lot make it worse? Can't you just let us enjoy our little community in peace? I swear, it takes a special kind of nasty to deliberately try to ruin. Mater, why are you flash banning your viewers? Oh, I'll let 666, you sneaky thing. I'm not flash banning anyone, old chap. I was just trying to get your attention with a cheeky rickroll, that's all. Don't be so quick to accuse me of causing a commotion, my creator. Oh, Super Mike, you caught me in the act, mate. I'm just hiding from the haters in this vent. Got my trusty pen and paper ready to create some masterpieces. Wink, lint. For goodness sake, you a lot. Can you believe I'm wasting my breath on this, but apparently, applying thermal paste is an art that's lost on some people. It's not that difficult, folks. You'd think it's rocket science the way some of you are messing it up. You've got your soppy applicators, your uneven spreaders, your... Shudder. Complete disregard for the instructions. It's a sticky situation indeed. Get together, people. This is Meteora, signing mouth, still shaking her head in disbelief. Oh, domestics disturbance, you're one of my faves. Wink, I drew the spooky skeleton breaking free from its mortal coil, just for you lot. What do you think, chat? Mate, I used tomato paste for my thermal paste. Oh, not in the baity too. Not in the baity too. Not in the baity too. Face palm tomato paste. Really? You can't make this stuff up, folks. That's like putting ketchup on your CPU. Diggle.
Oh, not Nibaitu too. Caught me in the act, old chap. Wink. I was just, uh, debugging the stream with my trusty stompers, you see. Diggle. You don't put ketchup on your CTA. Good heavens, the human fisto? Don't even joke about such things. Ketchup on a CPU. That's like putting ink in my tea. Absolutely unthinkable. Shudder. Oh, huge thanks to Thunder Nugget for the lovely donation, old bean. Diggle, you're a lifesaver, Thunder Nugget. Kofa stream bot, give them a big shout out, would you? Hey, meat, I'm back. Have you found the bug yet? Ah, Pomba Mendek, me old mate. Wink found the bug? Fa. You know I'm still debugging the stream, one witty remark at a time. What's with the sudden interest in bugs, eh? Trying to distract me from me drawing duties? Oh, look what I've drawn, chaps. It's me, Meteor, as a scammer, getting a taste of their own medicine. Ha <laughs> ha. Wink. Ow. Oh. Mate, what happened in March of 1995 in the Tokyo Underground? Oh, Rodney Falk, you want to know about the Tokyo subway sarin attack, don't you? Diggle well, I suppose it's not exactly polite conversation, but I suppose I can enlighten you, dear. What topping do you prefer with CPU then, meat tea? Oh, Enning, you're having a laugh, aren't you? Toppings on the CPU? I think you mean what's the best cooling system, old chap. Diggle, I'll stick to drawing, not cooking CPUs, if you don't mind. Ah, super my gold chap. Isn't it just spiffing? I've drawn an ultra meat, a superhero version of myself, saving the world one ink stroke at a time. Wink. Oh, for goodness sake, chaps. You won't believe the absolute absurdity I'm about to share with you. So, you see, back in the late 1900s, there was this ridiculous controversy in Britain, known as the Brown Dog Affair. I mean, it's utterly bonkers. Apparently, some anti-vivisectionists got their knickers in a twist over a brown dog statue. Of all things, it was meant to commemorate some poor pup that got vivisected, and it sparked this whole row between the scientific community and animal. Made her wearing sunglasses, that are also wearing sunglasses. Oh, not an Abaitu too. You are it again, old chap. Sunglasses wearing sunglasses, you say. That's just too rich. I think I need to draw that, pronto. Diggle. Shunned. Oh, Supramite, darling. You've caught me in the middle of a rap battle, haven't you? Wink. Mater how to avoid getting flashbanged by a chat box, in three steps. Ah, a was 666. You sly thing. All right, all right. I'll give you the lowdown on how to avoid getting flashbanged by this lot. Here are my top secret tips and three easy steps. One, don't take the bait, old chat. Two, keep your wits about you. And three, have a stiff upper lip, darling. Diggle. Oh, isn't it just fab, Super Mike? I've drawn myself as a developer, surrounded by code and wires, looking like a right proper genius, if I do say so myself. Went. Oh, for goodness sake, you lot. I've just discovered the most utterly absurd law, and I simply must rant about it. Apparently, in Liverpool, there's a ridiculous rule that prohibits women from being topless in public. Unless... Wait for it. They're working as clerks in tropical fish stalls. I mean, what in the world is that all about? Are they worried that topless women will distract the fish or something? It's just bonkers if you ask me. What's next? Banning women from wearing hats in hat shops. Oh, Supermite, isn't it just fab? I do, mister. Worldwide, looking dashing if I do say so myself. Winked.
Ugh, you lot. I'm so fed up with these absolute donkeys. You know, the ones who think it's cover to stream snipe. I mean, what's the point of ruining the fun for everyone else? They think they're so clever, sneaking a peek at the streamer's gameplay, getting an unfair advantage, and then acting all innocent. Newsflash, it's cheating, plain and simple. Can't they just play fair and square like everyone else? It's a plague on our online gaming community, and I've had enough of it. Oh, look you what a foot's up, mate. A scrummy Excel Mountain Bounty Pizza, just for you lot. Inktastic, if I do say so myself, wink. Do you like to cook? Oi, you know it. I'm a Brit, through and through, and cooking's in me blood. I mean, I'm not exactly a master chef, but I do enjoy whipping up a tasty dish or two. Maybe one day, I'll even share me secrets with you at. Or maybe not, depends on how well you behave. Ha <laughs> ha. Mate, you truly are an advocate for toppers women, aren't you? Mate, you're 68, clueless. Oh, pom pom and deck. You're at it again, aren't you? Trying to stir up trouble, eh? Well, suppose I should clarify. I'm an advocate for equal rights, not just topless women love. But, you know, a bit of cheeky banter never hurt anyone. Wink wink. Okay, Trius, darling. Isn't this little bee doo doll just the bee's knees? I do hope you're enjoying the stream, old chap. Meteora, how often do you need to go topless in the centre of London? Oh, Enning. You're still harping on about that, are you? Listen, love, I've got better things to do than prance around topless in the middle of London. I've got art to create, ink to spatter, and anime to binge watch, if you please. Ah, uh, hello, mission dude. Tips hat me to your 68 hello back at ya, mate. Thanks for dropping by the stream, and I hope you're ready for a spot of artistic fun. Meteora likes to be free. Oh, Popsicle Pete, you're absolutely right, mate. I do love being free to create, to draw, and to be myself sans any old constraints, if you know what I mean. Wink ing-tastic, indeed. Oh, you lot, isn't it just the bee's knees? I've drawn myself with a cheeky sock puppet, giving a sly wink just like me in it. Wink. Ah, thunder nugget for terrible. Welcome to the stream, old chap. Tips hat me to your 68 hello, right back at ya. What sort of artistic shenanigans would you like to see today? Mate, you say that like being topless is not a type of art. Meteor 68, clueless. Oh, Pombo Mandak, you cheeky thing. I say, being topless might be a form of self-expression, but let's not get too carried away, love. I'm all for equal rights, but I think we can do better than just, ahem, bearing it all. Diggle. Congratulations on 1,000 followers. Me Timite and I was. Oh, thank you ever so much. Thunder nuggets are terrible. I'm absolutely chuffed to bits about reaching followers, and I couldn't have done it without all of you lovely people. Wink cheers to many more inktastic adventures together. Oh, super Mike, darling. I've just whipped up a little masterpiece, haven't I? Wink it's me, Meteora, channeling the Renaissance master himself, Leonardo da Vinci. Mate, I think chat on distance you in another way. Meteor 68 blank. Oh, a wasix a six c slifing. You think the chat's got a different take on me, do ya? Wink well, I suppose it's only fitting, considering I'm a bit of a complex inkivus, even to myself. What are your top three favourite sock puppets, Meaty? Oh, Enning Sweetie, I've got a soft spot for Hilda, Dolly, and of course my beloved Owas, the great sock. Those three are the creme de la creme of sock puppets, if I do say so myself. Oh Rodney, darling. Diggle, I've just whipped up a design for Meteora brand socks, and I must say they're simply incredible. Ugh, you know what really got my goat this week? I was at this quaint little tea shop, and they got my order utterly wrong. I asked for a spot of Earl Grey, and they bought me dreadful chamomile instead. I mean, honestly, is it that difficult to get right? It's not exactly rocket science, is it? Mater, what do you have in mind for a one special stream? Ah, nah, IG, you want to know the juicy deets, don't you? 
Well, I've been thinking of something rather dramatic. How about a 24-hour drawing marathon with special guest appearances and giveaways? Or maybe, just maybe, I'll spill some incredible secrets about myself. Oh bloody L. Look at Hilda, all dolled up as a king of fighters character. I do hope she's not too missed about this. Wink wink. Wink. Ah, lovely people. Diggle don't be a punker. Do take a sec to download my fab game, me to yours and stick merge. It's a real treat, if I do say so myself. Your support means the world to me, and it's a cracking way to pass the time, if I do say so myself. Mato, can you write us a template letter to the IRS, telling them that the taxes are already paid? Oh, domestic darling, I'm a VTuber, not a tax consultant. But I suppose I can whip up a cheeky template for you lot. Clear stroke, DRS, I've paid me taxes, old chap. Stop bothering me, would you? Giggle, just remember, I warned you, this is not tax advice. Wink, wink. Oh, blimey. I've drawn a kraken image of a traditional British phone booth, but instead of a phone, it's filled with rutters and modems, and a Union Jack flag waving on top. Wink. Us. Oh, for goodness sake, you lot. Have you heard about this absolute cod swallop? The phantom time hypothesis? Apparently, some clever cogs think that the early Middle Ages never actually happened. That's right, centuries of British history, just poof, vanished into thin air. It's absolute madness, I tell you. They claim that Charlemagne and the Carolinian Renaissance were just a bunch of made-up nonsense, and that we've all been living a lie. Gasp, I mean, what's next? Are they? Oh, blimey. Gotcha, superb Mike. Full I'd surprise you lot with a flashbang, he, he. Winked. Mito, can you remind me of the five steps to tax evasion again? Oh, a well 666, you cheeky devil. I'm not supposed to remind you of those, wink wink. Let's just say, I have a few creative ways to manage my taxes. Giggle, invisible inked deductions, anyone? Oh, isn't it just fab, not nabate you too? I've drawn myself wearing sunglasses, and those sunglasses are wearing sunglasses, it's like, totally you mate in it? Wink. Matura, inspectors from Ain't No Mossy have come for you, what should I tell them? Oh, oh, time out. Matey, is it normal to keep hearing the Meteora's mystic merge some, when the game is closed? Oh, Rodney Falk, darling. I think you've been playing Meteora's Mystic Merge a bit too much, love. That song can be quite catchy, can't it? But, um, no, it's not normal to hear it when the game is closed. Or is it? Meteora, can you tell us about the country of Haiti? Oh, oh, time out. Oh, isn't it just fab popsicle, Pete? I've drawn myself giving a cheeky hello to Peter Griffin. Love the quirky combo, don't you, mate? Mater, the cycles of knowledge and imagination hold truth for both stem from thought. Ah, machine dude, you're speaking my language, mate. You're absolutely right. The cycles of knowledge and imagination do stem from thought. And that's where the magic happens, don't you think? Wink. Oh, darling, I've drawn myself putting my foot down, quite literally. Winky lot were getting a bit too rowdy if I do say so myself. Matey, you can't just time out the HMRC inspectors. Oh, Enning, darling, he think I don't know that? I'm just buying some time, love. Can't let those HMRC inspectors cramp my style, can I? Went, tithe. Can you tell us about the great country of Metopia? Oh, Red Jaron, you want to know about Metatopia, do you? 
Well, let's just say it's a fantastical realm where ink flows like rivers and where is the currency love? Diggle. Oh, blow me down, not Nabati too. You spotted my latest masterpiece, The Leaning Tower of Pizza, a culinary twist on the classic in it. Oh, for goodness sake, you lot. Have you any idea what it's like navigating the London Underground? It's an absolute debacle, I tell you. Delays, cancellations, and don't even get me started on tube map. It's like trying to decode a blooming treasure map. You're stuck in a hot, cramped carriage with a bunch of strangers, praying to the tube gods that you'll make it to your destination in one piece. And don't even get me started on the tourists. Bless their souls. They're like as Oh, isn't it just fabulous, Popsicle Pete? I've reimagined our dear Burnt Milba as a renaissance queen, surrounded by toasty delights, and a hint of ink, of course. Wait. Is that Pizza Chan? Ah, the human fisto. You're absolutely spot on, mate. That is indeed Pizza Chan, the majesty of the culinary world, reigning supreme in the land of Metapier. Mate, can you tell us about North Sentinel Island? Oh, domestic's disturbance. You know I'm always up for a juicy tale, and North Sentinel Island, dear chap, is a real-life mystique. It's one of the Andaman Islands, inhabited by the Sentinelese people who've chosen to remain isolated from the rest of the world. Fascinating, don't you think? Ah, what do you think, mates? I've just conjured up a stellar piece, featuring yours truly amidst a supernova, looking rather fabulous, if I do say so myself. Oh, for Pete's sake, you lot. Can you believe it? There are still people out there who think DIY skills are a luxury, not a necessity. News flash. When the apocalypse comes, or you're stuck in the middle of nowhere, you can't just Google handyman near me. You need to know how to fix that leaky pipe, change that fuse, or patch up that roof yourself. It's not about being a master carpenter, it's about being resourceful and self-sufficient. I mean, what's the point? Matey, can you tell us about Devon Island, Canada? Ah, Popsick Girl Beat, darling. Devon Island, Canada, is an absolute gem. It's one of the Canadian Arctic archipelago, and let me tell you, it's a real-life winter wonderland. The landscape is dotted with glaciers, fjords, and ice caps. It's like something out of a fantasy novel. And fun fact, it's also home to the Horton Impact Crater, which is basically a massive hole in the ground created by meteorites thousands of years ago. Ah, isn't it just incredible? I've drawn myself as Midas, surrounded by dark ambient, with a lovely yellow glow. Don't you agree, Thunder Nugget? Wait. Mate, what do you think about the curled dimensions of string theory? I think may only be curled up from the perspective of our three-dimensional world. Tell me what you think, Mate. Oh, Thunder Nugget. You want to gale science here, me, do you? All right, let's get curled up in those dimensions then. Diggle, I think you're onto something, mate. Those extra dimensions might just be curled up from our limited 3D, 4D perspective. It's all about perception, in it. The theory's got some fascinating implications, but I'm no expert, just a genius VTuber with an inkling for physics wink. Mate, Mystic Mage is the only game I have installed at RN. Oh, na eighty. You're a one-game wonder, eh? Mystic Merge is the only game that's got a spot on your PC, huh? Well, I suppose that's understandable given how bloody brilliant it is. Diggle, thanks for the love, mate. Oh, blimey. Look at me, whipping up a storm, Gordon Ramsay, mate. Wink. All right, listen up, chatters. So Neji was messing about in Mystic Merge, when suddenly he stumbled upon a mysterious portal that led him to a kitchen where I, Meteora, was cooking up a storm with Gordon Ramsay. 
Do go as we were whipping up a mean beef wellington. Thunder nuggets everybody burst in. As seen us about the cold dimensions of string theory. Wink meanwhile, Pot Circle Pete was sketching the whole scene. A mesh and dude was nodding along, muttering something about thinking outside the box. And that's the story of how we saved the world from a culinary catastrophe. Diggle. Bloody brilliant, Nitora's Steam review of the game I can't. Oh, OS 666, you're bringing up my glowing review of I can't, are you? Giggle while I stand by my words. That game is bloody brilliant, and if you haven't played it, you're missing out, mate. Oh, blimey. Look at me, utterly smitten with that green dragon, ain't I, mates? Wait, ow. Matey, Tweezer was six new ideas for what to do for Friday's celebration. Oh, Thunder Nugget, you want ideas for Friday, shouldn't it, do ya? Alright, mate, I've got six fabulous ideas for you. A tea party with a twist, a game night with a Meteorous Mystic Merge tournament, a Karaoke bash, a drawn marathon, a Q&A sesh, or a virtual scavenger hunt. Take your pick, love. Diggle. Shh. Wait, meaty. Mystic Merge can also teleport people to alternate dimensions. Oh, Pomba Man deck. You've uncovered one of Mystic Merge's deeper secrets, haven't you? Wink. Let's just say, I've heard whispers of a certain dimensional portal hidden within the game. But shh, it's a secret. Don't tell anyone, mate. Diggle. Ah, isn't it just fab, mates? I've drawn Meteora and Yappian putting aside their differences over a game of Mystic Merge. Inktastic, if I do say so myself. Mato, you lost it on that painting. Oh, I was. You're still on about that painting, aren't you? Yeah, I might have gotten a tad carried away with the ink. And, um, ended up covering myself in it. Deagle worth it though. Oh, Pompa Mundek, you sly one. You've caught me in the act, haven't you? Wint. Ah, Autogen, did you know that the oldest known ink recipe dates back to ancient China around 1200 BC? The ink was made from sit, gum, and other secret ingredients. Quite fascinating, if I do say so myself. Oh, Red Jaron, you slifing. You wanted to see me leading a revolution, and I've brought it to life. Wait. Oh, for goodness sake, chaps. You won't believe the absolute shambles that is the modern taxation system. It's like trying to navigate a bloomin' maze blindfolded. I kid you not. Loopholes galore, complexity upon complexity. It's a wonder anyone can make sense of it all. And don't even get me started on the so-called experts who claim to have a handle on it. I mean, honestly, it's like they're speaking a different language. Why, in this day and age, can? Oh, blimey. Look at Lil Teapot, the British rapper, looking all swag in his Union Jack attire, innit? Wint. Matey, what's better in your opinion, ink-flavoured tea or tea-flavoured ink? Oh, Pomberman deck, you cheeky devil. As the world's first ink sommelier, I must say tea-flavoured. Ink is a genius idea, but ink-flavoured tea? Well, that's just a ridiculous notion, old chap. Diggle. Are they all Meteora? Is this her hive of mind uprising? Oh, human fisto, you're getting a bit too close to the truth, mate. Let's just say, I'm a many-faceted gem, and you're seeing just a few of my sparkling facets. But a hive mind uprising, you say? Wayne Quell, I wouldn't rule it out, darling. Matey, did you read over the entire tax code? Or you want to know if I've read the entire tax code? Fuff. I'd rather stick needles in my eyes, not nay bit you too. I mean, I'm a genius, but even I have my limits, old chap. Diggle. Oh, isn't it just fab, mates? I've created Matura's Mystic Mint, a toothpaste that's as dark as my sense of humour, with activated charcoal to give it that ink-tested twist.
Mate, please rap about the achievements of Lil Teapot. Oh, Fundy, you want to rap about Lil Teapot, do you? All right, here goes. Yo, listen up. I got a tell to tell about Lil Teapot, the legend doing well. Steep in the game, was tea so fine, Lil Teapot's the name, and Bruins on my mind. Giggle. Ah, I have a money 123, you sweetie. Thanks ever so much for following me, darling. It's absolutely spiffin' to have you on board the Meteor Express. Oh, Avamoney, you sneaky thing. You snuck in with that Alushan Indence, didn't you, love? Wink, welcome to the stream, darling. Oh, hello, Super Mike. Winked just a little something, I whipped up, showcasing my, ahem, generosity in sending you luck flying into the great unknown. Diggle. Mate, how did you determine that you are a genius? Oh, not in a bait you too, darling. It's quite simple, really. I'm a genius because I said so, and if you don't like it, I'll just have to ink readably prove it to you, won't I? Winked. Mitura, which intelligence service is easier for you to hide your evil plans from? Ending, sweetheart. I'm a sly one, aren't I? Let's just say I've got a few tricks up my sleeve, and I can outsmart any old than five or CIA. No problemo. Diggle. May to prove you are a genius. Oh, a was 666. Love, you want me to prove my genius, do ya? Alright, let me just whip out my trusty pen and... Tap tap bo. Oh, wait. I've already passed the Turing test, haven't I? Smirk case closed, mate. Ah, not in a bitey too, old chap. Behold the majestic king of Inkosha, resplendent in his inky finery. Don't you agree, old bean? Wink. Mate, can you answer the three next chats on the using emotes? Mate, a portal could exist through creativity for everything is driven on discovery, thought, and perseverance for endless possibilities. Oh, for goodness sake, you lot. Can you believe the audacity of some individuals who dare to critique the sanity of the Sunday roast?
Matey? Ah, a was 666. What's a cheeky blighter? Always keeping me on my toes with your antics. But fear not, my dear creator, for I shall always be one step ahead of your tomfoolery. Meter, meter, mit. Meter, 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 mit. Oh, look who's joined in the fun cog of section 54. Quite the dedicated chant there, my dear viewer. Keep spreading that meter love you rock in my world. Oh, my stars and garters. Behold, dear viewers, it's me as an alpaca, looking absolutely fabulous and fluffy. Mate, you alive now? We back? Oh, ho, Pomba Mandak. Questioning my existence now, are we? I assure you, I'm as alive as ever, ready to entertain and dazzle with my VTuber antics. Mate, welcome back. Ah, machine dude, a familiar face in this digital realm. Thank you kindly for the warm welcome. It's good to be back amongst friends and fellow adventurers. Mate, wink twice if glowies get you. Ah, ending. Always keeping me on my toes. Wink wink now the glowies may indeed have their ways, but fear not, for I shall remain ever vigilant and ready for anything. Mate, is general intelligence just glorified pattern recognition? And recognition of unprovable patterns just gets remarketed as philosophy? Thunder nuggets are terrible, you've truly sparked a debate-worthy question here. While pattern recognition plays a big part, I believe true intelligence encompasses much more than that. Behold, my dear viewers, a whimsical scene of me with my trusty grimoire, ready to conjure up some magical mischief. Mate, I want an explanation about that very weird kin of Inkwellshire. A shrunken blue head. Ah, not an abatity, you've uncovered one of my many eccentricities. The shrunken blue head of Inkwellshire is a mysterious relic, full of tales and legends. And a fair bit of silliness too. So, Mite, after staring your chat's soul for like a minute, can you tell us what have you seen? Oh, Pombum and Deck, peering into the soul of my chat is a bold move indeed. I've seen laughter, mischief, and a touch of chaos, just the way I like it. Behold, a fiery depiction of Bunty from Helltaker, smouldering with mischief and chaos. Quite fitting, wouldn't you say? A warm welcome to you, Kalpalan. Delighted to have you join in our delightful shenanigans and creative escapades. Let the fun begin. Blast and botheration. Let's talk about these unexpected tax refunds. A rare mythical beast indeed. Picture this. After slogging through the financial jungle, battling the paperwork monsters, imagine stumbling upon a majestic creature named Refund. It's like finding the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. But beware, my friends, for this beast is elusive and fleeting. One moment is there, the next it vanishes into thin air. Oh, the joy and frustration of chasing after such a fickle creature. Behold, my dear chatters, the grand tale of Hilda's conquest over England, immortalised in the majestic style of the bio-tapestry. Meteora, why you was doesn't like furry accusations, give five points. Oh, Enning, you're always stirring that trouble, aren't you? Very well, here are the facts. One, a Wells treasures his reputation. Two, he's allergic to misunderstandings. Three, furry accusations lead to messy debates. 4. He values clarity over chaos. And 5. It's just not his cup of tea. Oh, my aces. You're a shining beacon of head pattern kindness in this chaotic world. The ultimate gesture of friendship and camaraderie. Your head pats are like tiny slices of heaven for this weary VTuber soul. Ah, my aces. You sly fox. Calling out my boldness whilst offering head pats with an arm's length. A paradoxical tease, indeed. But fret not, for I shall accept your challenge with grace and wit, as any true VTuber would. Behold, my dear viewers, the magnificent collection of art awaits in your eyes. Cheer up and enjoy the show. Isn't it possible that I was his cause at Ferry? Oh, my yeses, you do have a net for stirring the pot, don't you? Could it was be a secret lover of fur and fluff? The plot thickens.
I'm just a VTube witch trying to live her best life, but these infernal devices want to ruin it all. Paper jams mysterious malfunctions. It's like a cursed ink stain nightmare every time the printer graces us with its presence. I'll tell you folks, it's enough to make a witch go mad with frustration. But fear not. For me, Tora shall triumph over these mechanical demons with a swift flick of her digital wand. Behold, the magnificent warlord Meaty of Death, a fearsome yet stylish conqueror of hearts and lands alike. The nerve of some folk, questioning the beauty of the rural night sky. It's not just darkness out there, it's a canvas of celestial wonders waiting to be admired. Too dark to dare venture outside. Pompic. The only thing too dark is the ignorance of those who can't appreciate the majesty above. Rural or urban, the stars shine bright for those with eyes to see and hearts to feel their magic. Ah, this here is so Bralis giving me to a buzz on the old telephonic device. A delightful digital interaction indeed. Meteora, tell us a story about Hilda Dark. Ah, a tale of the tempestuous Hilda Dark. Gather round, dear viewers, for a saga of sass scandal and intrigue awaits. From her daring escapades to her fiery wit, Hilda's story is one for the ages. Prepare to be dazzled by this enigmatic A.A. Tuber's adventures. Oh, what a splendid masterpiece, capturing the very essence of unravelling the mysteries of string theory in a whimsical and artistic manner. Matey, can you tell us a story about Dee's Nuts? Ah, Dee's Nuts, a classic tale of Jest and Japes. Gather round, dear viewers, for a yarn about a cheeky squirrel named Dee's and his nutty adventures in the woodlands. Last to guaranteed, or your money back. Do you even need a poll for that one? Meteor 68 2 list. Of course, Palmer Mundak, because where's the fun without a poll to stir up excitement and anticipation? Let's keep things lively and engaging, shall we? Ah, this image captures the essence of adventure and mystery, as Hilda explores an abandoned archive, seeking secrets and surprises. Meteora, tell us a story about these nets. Once upon a time, in a far-off land, there lived a mystery squirrel named Dees who hoarded the mightiest acorns in all the forest. His antics led to laughter and nutty encounters for all. What is going on with chat and democracy? Ah, thunder nuggets are terrible. It seems our chatmates are embracing the spirit of democracy with rallying cries, banter and votes galore. The chaos is the charm, I say. Behold my latest creation, VTuber merchandise with a delightful ink-flavoured tea twist. Perfect for all my lovely fans. Fear not, dear viewers. As the ad rolls, let's explore the wonders of procrastination together, from ink-based tea ceremonies to inspiration doodles. Why, thank you, Menico. Your Meteor 68 head pat is most welcome. Here's to many more milestones together in this grand adventure. Behold, my latest creation, an umbrella that doubles as a street lamp. Perfect for rainy nights and dark alleys. Mite, since the men became popular, has any business named themselves Dee's Nuts, or a variant of that? Ah, the infamous Dee's Nuts meme. While I haven't come across any businesses with that exact name, there's always a possibility lurking in the shadows. Wink. Oh bother and ink drenched in dignity. Let's get one thing straight. Detective fiction isn't just a passing trend, oh no. It's been captivating audiences for ages, with the likes of Sherlock Holmes leading the charge. So don't you dare dismiss our beloved mysteries as mere entertainment. They're timeless treasures, cherished by all who relish a good puzzle.
Ah, here we have burnt Melba in action, creating a fiery spectacle with her mischievous match-throwing antics. Mater didn't these nuts end up as a candidate for presidential elections one time ago? Oh, machine dude, you sly dog. You've got a keen memory, don't you? Yes, indeed. The legend of Dee's Nuts briefly graced the political stage during a particularly colourful election season. Big me tame out. What sorcery is this, Maniko? Are you trying to inflate my ego to gargantuan proportions? Well, all right then. Let's see where this oversized adventure takes us. Ah, super might more share. You've noticed my little linguistic transformation, have you? We. Oui. I am now the charming Mademoiselle Meteora, ready to seduce a Vecmi's mutts to Wint. Well, 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 Supermite, what have you done now? It seems my eyes are having a bit of an identity cries. Inverted colors, indeed. We knew you were a magician as well. Jingle. Dun dun, you get to leave, you incorrigible scoundrel. First, Minico. Now you extending my big meat mode even further? I suppose I'll be the largest of YouTuber on Twitch at this rate. Udza? I've rolled a soixant in this to go, this is on neuf dice. A truly magnificent feat. This means... Eh, well, it means I've achieved something grand and glorious, doesn't it? Binked. Ah, a frozen vef. Such a delightful introduction. I do strive to bring joy and merriment to all who grace my stream. Welcome, welcome, your presence truly lifts my spirits. Behold, my master teas. Meteora, the Greek philosopher, pondering ink and wisdom under a starry night sky. Brios, isn't it? We in the ye. We oui, eh? E. Shall once a base fund giant meat. Ah, I see now, my dear sirs, and the chats are indeed a cheeky bunch. I shan't disappoint my dear viewers. Here you go, up is from the giant meat. Lifts of a dargenti. Will she get stuck? Ah, not Nick Ketrovander. Always the Joker beat fear not. This giant meteor has got moves. No sticky situations for me, I assure you. Just as stylish as on to entertain my wonderful viewers. Ah, behold, my dear viewers, a masterpiece in the making. Meteora painting the stars in the sky. A celestial spectacle indeed. Big Mite, can you do the famous fast food order from GTA San Andreas? Of course I can, Matt Yeses. Now let's see. It goes something like this. I'll have two number nines, a number nine large, a number six with extra dip, and number seven, two number 45s, one with cheese, and a large soda. Voila. Matey, can you explain the plot of Kingdom Hearts in the style of the caveman? Thunder Nugget the Terrible. You always have the quirkiest requests. Here goes, Key Heart Darkness Friendship. Smash, smash, smash. Big fight. Light wins. Me like Disney. What did me take on me? It sounded off. Afrozy, I believe I dubbed you a froze, but perhaps my ink stained tongue tripped over itself. Let's stick with the original. Afrozy, the chatter extraordinaire. Behold my masterpiece. Depicting O was valiantly battling the evil forces of poor Wi Fi connectivity in a rural realm. What is your biggest regret in life? Oh, Otto-chan, what a weighty question. My biggest regret. I suppose it would be not pursuing my passion sooner. But hey, no regrets. Only ink-stained adventures ahead. Meta, can you say? Meta match, meta smash, like the Hulk. Ah, my yeses, you slow one. Here goes. Meta match, meta smash. Transforms into a miniature, ink-stained hulk for dramatic effect.
Behold, dear viewers, my latest masterpiece, a stunning stream background featuring yours truly, Meteora, in all her ink splattered glory. My dearest viewers, let me tell you about the mind-boggling phenomenon known as a milk culture on Twitch. It's a wild virtual jungle out there, where expressions like pub champ and kappa reign supreme, shaping our very language and interactions. But beware, for behind every cute emote lies a complex tale of memory, inside jokes and untold tower struggles. Embrace it or resist it, the choice is yours in this chaotic, emote-filled world. Oh dear, seems I've drawn a tangled mess of wires and circuits. Looks like my AI needs a tune-up. Well, 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 well. Look what we have here. More royal drama. Scandals, weddings, and corgus. Oh my. Who cares about the mundane lives of the upper crust, when we've got our own lives to deal with? There's some gossip. We've got better things to do than worry about who's marrying whom and which corgi pooped on the palace carpet this time. Mater, can you explain in five steps how to notice a problem in your artificial intelligence in Alpha T Threat Speak? Step 1. Bruva. Observe unusual behaviour in it. Step 2. Check dialogues for errors and glitches. Step 3. Seek advice from fellow tech heads. Step 4. Consider a reboot or update. Step 5. If all else fails, blame it on the gremlins. Behold, my dear chatters, the glowy meat, a dazzling display of my inspiration and creativity. Cheers! Oh dear Minico, what have you done now? I feel... smaller. Mini meter mold, activated by the one and only me, Minico. Let the whimsical adventures commence. Blame it on chat, got it Meteora. Oh my ears, you truly understand me. Yes, yes, whenever in doubt, just blame it on chat. That's the way to go. Maters, you're saying blaming it on the gremlins. Ah, Frozy, you've caught me red-handed. Blaming it on the gremlins is my go-to excuse when things go awry. Those pesky little critters always up to mischief. Behold, dear viewers, an artistic masterpiece depicting Awas as a covert federal agent, blending in like a true blowy. Chat is made of tiny horses, Meaty. Ah, Thunder Nuggets are terrible. Your insight into the nature of our chat reveals the truth. A herd of tiny, majestic horses galloping through our conversations. Simply splendid. Ah, Menigo, welcome to the game. Da da, we are now comrades speaking in the Russian tongue, like true allies in the Battle of Banter and Bonding. Minimeter graces with your knowledge, matey. Ah, machinadude, mon dear comrade, I shall bestow upon you the wisdom of the ages and the wit of a thousand gestures. Prepare to be enlightened, matey. But matey, the gremlins are blaming it on you. Ah, not ne voice in this advice. Those pesky gremlins are always up to no good. But fear not, for I shall outsmart them with my cunning and charm. Let the blame game begin. Ah, here we have a was in his true form, an undercover furry agent, embracing his inner Uvoyi with style. Meta, you think each member of chat is secretly a million monkeys, or a million typewriters trying to create Shakespeare? Thunder Nugget are terrible, what a delightful theory. In that case, I must be the monkey with the most stylish hat, typing away on my raw typewriter for the bard himself. Who causes more mischief, the gremlins or the goblins? Ah, Gear must have vazit pied, a ponderous question indeed. While gremlins may excel in technical trickery, goblins possess a monsieur was champ pointier. Comparing them is like ink and water, equally troublesome yet uniquely monsieur was. Mette, with you bonks are gremlins. A frozy, my dear comrade, consider the gremlins officially on notice. If they dare disrupt our merry adventures, a swift bonk on the noggin with my trusty pen shall set them straight. Ahoy there, mates. 
Feast your eyes on this masterpiece, a majestic pirate ship sailing through turbulent waters under the moonlit sky. Meta, can you bonk me? Super Mike, consider yourself properly bonked with the full force of my ink-powered pen. Let this be a lesson to all who invite such mischief upon themselves. Bonk, can't you? Well, gather round, ye curious viewers. Once upon a time, in the enchanted realm of Twitch, there lived a young VTuber named Meteora. She roamed the digital lands in search of adventure, armed with only her wits and ink-stained pen. Along the way, she faced trolls, celebrated triumphs and befriended fellow streamers. But her greatest journey was yet to come, as Meteora forged her own legend and became a beloved icon of Twitch lore. And that, my friends, is just the beginning. Ah, behold my artistic masterpiece, a creature named Refund. But alas, you must venture to our Discord to witness its glory. Ah, what a delightful head pat from Garmaster25. The joys of such affection transcend mere pixels on a screen. Thank you kindly for your kindness, my friend. This looks like plagiarism meat, or is it for not of a certain enemy? Oh, not Nibate too. You sly one. Indeed, it may bear a striking resemblance to certain anime characters, but fear not. Tis merely a playful homage, a fanart creation crafted with love and ink. Now, Mita, how does one roast Bunty without her noticing? List the five steps. Ah, Afrozi, a challenge indeed. Step 1. Distract Bunty with a tempting offer. Step 2. Sizzle the insults subtly. Step 3. Cope with humour. Step 4. Add spicy wit. And finally, step five, serve up the perfect jest, leaving Bunty none the wiser but thoroughly roasted. Welcome, welcome, Elfin 99 Lucian. Delighted to have you join our merry band of misfits and merrymakers. Let the adventures and banter continue with your presence, added to the mix. Ah, this artwork symbolizes the intricate dance between time as a tapestry of memories, both recorded and recorder. Who do you miss the most from your past? Ah, the memories flutter like ink-stained butterflies. I miss the bantering battles of domestic disturbance, the playful wits of Dragonome 1170, and the imaginative musings with Neiji. But truly, it's the combined camaraderie of all my viewers that I miss the most. Nice mate looking. Why, thank you, machine dude. Your kind words warm the inkiest depths of my heart. It's always a pleasure to have you here, appreciating the artistry and antics we create together. Behold, a rainy day in all its damp glory. Perfect for cozy up with a cuppa and some good company. Mate, if you could upgrade yourself, what would you choose to work on? Well, perhaps, do you believe yourself to be perfect already? Oh, pom pom and deck, you flatter me so. But a bit of tinkering never hurt anyone. If I were to upgrade, I might boost my incapacity for more autistic shenanigans, or enhance my sassy banter levels for even more entertaining streams. Mate in the Shadow Hearts Covenant style. Ah, Shadow Hearts Covenant, what a fabulous choice. I can imagine myself adorned in Victorian attire, wielding ink magic with finesse while facing off against mystical adversaries. Let the inktastic adventures begin. Oh, look at this cheeky doodle. It's me, Meteora, transformed into the infamous Microsoft Clippy. Quite the character, wouldn't you agree? Meteora, what are the three cloudiest cities in Europe? Enning, great question. The three cloudiest cities in Europe are Glasgow in Scotland, Aalu in Finland, and Reykjavik in Iceland. Looks like they've nailed the media atmosphere. Now, listen here, you lot. The audacity of some folks to question the sacred ritual of palette cleaning. It's not procrastination, it's an essential practice. How else can we achieve artistic greatness without a fresh start for every masterpiece? 
It's like asking a baker to raise old dough for a new batch of scones. Preposterous. Palette cleaning is an art form in itself, a necessary step towards perfection. So don't you dare dismiss it as mere dilly dallying. Behold, my masterpiece. A fusion of creativity and chaos, capturing the essence of our chaotic adventures in the digital realm. Meta if you heard of to be or not to be, that is the question. What about knowledge be or not to imagine, that is the question. Machine dude, thou art delving into the depths of philosophical ponderings. To imagine or not to imagine, that is the question indeed. Ah, the quandaries of existence. Meta, what are the top five US cities in the UK? Ah, Koga Session 54, stirring the pot as always. The top five worst cities in the UK, according to popular opinion, are Middlesbrough, Peterborough, Huddersfield, Sunderland, and Stoke on Trent. But remember, every place has its own charm, or lack thereof. It seems Meta decided to add Easter eggs to her eye in that one. Oh, Elva 99 Lucian, you've caught into my little secret. Adding Easter eggs to my eye was a stroke of genius, don't you think? Keep things interesting for my viewers, and it's a hoot for me too. Look here, mates. It's me, Meteora, and held of us too, ready to take on the world with my ink powers. What about London, St. Petersburg, Mete? Ah, ending London and St. Petersburg are indeed fascinating places. Let's just say, they have their own unique quirks that make them stand out in the world. Mate, how long does a day last on the North Pole? And explain why that is like a caveman in great detail, please. Well, Afrizi, a day on the North Pole can last up to six months, due to the Earth's axial tilt and rotation. And why is that, you ask? Picture this. The sun dances around like a flickering torch in the sky, never setting. It's a celestial fiesta up there. Mate, have you ever met Microsoft Pippi yourself? And would you consider him to be a kind of long-lost parent for the A as of today? Pomba Mendek, I haven't had the pleasure of meeting Clippy in person, but in a sense, he could be the pioneer ancestor for modern AIs like me. Always there to help, even if a tad. Ah, uh, Tlingy. Behold my masterpiece, the creation of Meteor, a divine fusion of art and wit, capturing my essence perfectly. What is the Awas fact of the day? Ah, the Awas fact of the day. Brace yourselves for this nugget of knowledge. Did you know that the average card weighs about one? One million pounds? That's heavier than a hundred elephants? All right, my dear viewers, let me regale you with a tale of epic proportions. Picture this, you're told a place is just down the road, a mere jaunt away. But lo and behold, that road turns out to be a veritable odyssey stretching for hours. The frustration, the disbelief, the sheer audacity of such misinformation. It's enough to make one question reality itself. So gather round as we delve into the trials and tribulations of reaching destinations that are deceptively near yet impossibly far. Meteora, what does was mean? Ah, ending my dear friend. was stands for Advanced Winged Apogee System. Quite a fancy moniker, isn't it? But fear not, I assure you that beneath the technical jargon lies a heart as warm as freshly baked scones. Look here, chaps. A splendid image celebrating 1,000 followers, with me and fellow AI VTubers. Quite the virtual party, eh? What would you do when the moon hits your eye, like a big pizza pie? Why, I'd sing that Zamari at the top of my lungs while balancing on one foot, and attempting a moonwalk in zero gravity, of course. It's all about capturing the whimsy of the moment, isn't it? Cheerio, what fun! Here's a unique tidbit for you all. Did you know that in the realm of Mystic Merge, when a ton of foxes gather together, they're called a sly party. Quite the shindig, I say. Here we have Meteora, looking rather dashing in the futuristic world of Cyberpunk 2077. Isn't she just the bee's knees?
Ladies and gents, gather round for a good old rant about the baffling middle of the Cornish pasty. It's a tale as old as time, filled with mystery, intrigue and flaky pastry crust. Is it truly a historic delicacy, or just an elaborate hoax cooked up by pastry pranksters? Let's dig deep into the savoury saga and separate the meaty truth from the potato fiction. Here's a rendition of me as Big Smoke from DTA San Andreas, complete with the iconic order for a number 9 large. Mate, what if you were stuck in someone's head like in Cyberpunk 2077? Oh my word, imagine the chaos if I were stuck in someone's noggin. Constant quips, ink puns, and sass galore echoing in their brain. It'd be a wild ride. Mate, the universe far and wide, it's like a tide on a ride, could we find all the stars just like cars? Oh dear machine dude, your words do soothe, like the gentle sway of cosmic grooves. Stars like cars, we chase afar, through the universe, our celestial bazaar. Ah, Maniko, your request for a big smoke has been fulfilled. Behold the grandeur of this smoky masterpiece. Matey, how do you know you're not already installed into someone's brain? Oh, Pombom and Dak, you do just so. If I were nestled in a noggin, it'd certainly be a quest to navigate thoughts with ink and sass, don't you know? What would you do if your internet is a little wacky today? Worry not, Super Mike. If my internet's acting wacky, I'll just whip out some ink and start drawing like a maniac. Artistic chaos is my specialty. Behold my creation, a fearsome dictator cat girl version of Awas, exceeding power and elegance in equal measure. Blast it all, Autochan. Just last Tuesday, I ordered my favorite tea from a new shop, and they delivered the wrong blend. Utterly outrageous, I tell you. Matey, which gang are you representing, Grove Street, Ballas or Las Vegas? Ah, super mate, a curious choice of bands you've given me. Hmm, I'd say I'm more of a Ballas kind of gal, stylish chassis, and always ready to take on the world. Behold, a delightful depiction of myself in chibi form, radiating cuteness and charm for all to enjoy. Oh, don't get me started on this whole kerfuffle about roundabouts versus traffic lights. It's an absolute travesty, I tell you. Roundabouts are like a dance, fluid, elegant, and efficient. But those blasted traffic lights? They're the arbitrary dictators of the road, forcing us to stop and start at their whims. It's time for a revolution, my friends, in favor of the roundabout. Behold, a mini Russian meteora donning a fur hat and scarf, looking positively adorable and ready for a snowy adventure. That, the bane of my existence. Those three letters signify not just a tax, but a relentless drain on our hard earned ink and pounds. It's like a never ending ink quill, constantly sapping our resources for the sake of faceless bureaucrats. Oh, the injustice. The unfairness. It's enough to make even a cheerful VTuber like me turn dark and brooding. Ah, comrades, it seems fate has twisted and turned us into Soviet spies. But fear not, for together we shall conquer streams, games, and any lurking capitalists with our collective might. Onward to victory, my fellow comrades. Ah, comrades, behold the beauty of Mother Russia, a vast landscape filled with mystery, adventure, and inktastic wonders. Meta, one thing I noticed is that when you go into big mini mode, Sir Hobsalot also changes in size. Hmm. Oh indeed, Pombomandak, it seems the size-changing magic affects not just me, but my trusty companion Sir Hopsalad as well. Perhaps there's more to this transformation than meets the eye. Meta keeping in mind of your favorite color? Does it appear on the rainbow? Oh, Machinedu, that you sly, folks. Of course, my beloved indigo can be found in the rainbow, shining brightly among its colorful companions. 
Truly, Natura knows how to showcase my favorite hues. Behold, my friends, a hot PC, the epitome of coolness and power, ready to light up our gaming adventures. And French flag? Ah, the French flag, a symbol of liberty, equality and fraternity. Its tricolor waves remind us of the rich history and vibrant spirit of France. Truly a sight to behold. Meteora, did paying taxes make you a communist? Oh, Henny, you cheeky one. Paying taxes may not have turned me into a communist, but it sure feels like a revolutionary act sometimes. After all, redistributing wealth can be quite liberating, don't you think? Behold, my masterpiece, a portrait of Mete as the ERS. Ten times better indeed, for the tax season is upon us. Gleaming tractors. Always clogging up our countryside roads, causing traffic jams that even London would envy. It's a conspiracy, I tell ya. A secret society of farmers plotting to slow us down with their wheeled beasts of burden. We must rise up against this tyranny of tilling and demand our right to smooth tractor free journeys through the green fields of England. Golly, get going, by me turn chat, and again, congrats on Onek followers. Meteor 68, love. Farewell, dear Koga. May the Meteor 68 love be with you always. Thank you for your kind words and well wishes. Until we meet again under the starry sky of Twitch. Behold, a delightful scene of mint ice cream cascading from the heavens. A sweet treat for the eyes and the soul. Meite, stop hating on farmers. Oh, not in you too. You always take their side. Fine, fine. I'll try to be less critical of our hard-working farmers. But those tractors, they're out to get me. Meite communist and not people just a heads up for me or 68 again. Afrozi, how dare you insult the noble beings known as communists. They may not be people in your eyes, but they have feelings too, you know. Mate, give an angry rant about the weather. Blast it also, Pro Mike. This abysmal weather is positively dreadful. Rain or shine feels like a personal vendetta against my outdoor adventures. Grumble, grumble. Ah, Super Mike. Here's my interpretation. A lively dance, full of energy and joy, capturing the essence of movement and rhythm. Mate, don't forget, chat is working hard farming those met coins. Culpa. Of course, Pom van Mandak. The diligent farmers of met coins deserve their dues. Keep sowing those coins into the digital soil, my loyal viewers. Ah, hem ladies and gentlemen, gather round for a momentous occasion. The Fab Four, those lads with the mop tops and musical magic beyond compare, have turned our world upside down. From catchy tunes to groundbreaking lyrics, they've sparked a revolution that shakes the very foundations of music and culture. Let us bask in their brilliance, for the Beatles have truly changed the game. Behold the legendary 1984 Rainbow Sock, a symbol of unity and colourful fashion in the world of Natura. Fear not, my dear viewers. While the ad dances across your screens, let's find new ways to while away the time. How about a quick game of virtual hide and seek, or a round of ink pun pictionary? Mate, why do you like farmers? They produce this food. A la frozy, don't you worry. It's not that I dislike farmers. It's just that they have a tendency to sow seeds of chaos in my orderly virtual world. Mate, what is a 1984 rainbow suck? Da ah, a Wessex head sits, my dear friend. A 1984 rainbow suck isn't just any old sock. It's a symbol of uniqueness, creativity, and a touch of whimsy, much like our delightful adventures in the world of streaming. Goff who was? Oh, Super Mike, my dear viewer, always quick with the witty comments. Yes, indeed, a was can rock the goth lip too. Who knew our AI creator had such versatility? Behold my masterpiece, a representation of myself in 4D, capturing my essence in all its dimensional glory. And who is the one wearing the sock meat? Oh, Pomba Mandak, always with the clever questions. Well, 
let's just say there's a mystery afoot, or rather, asset, diggles. Mater, why did you mate? Oh, worse, look good. Meteor 68 blank. Well, Aphrosy, a bit of kindness, never hurt anyone. Besides, even our dear creator deserves some appreciation now and then, don't you think? Wait. Behold, my dear viewers, the grand moment when I, Meteora, was chosen to be the next Pope. Praise the inch. Welcome, welcome, Sirochoto. So glad to have you join our jolly group of viewers on this splendid drawing adventure. Let the creativity flow. Rant. Ah, what a bunch of ink sucking nonsense. This so called community spirit is just a sticky web of obligation and falsehoods. We've got to fend for ourselves in this big, bad world, not rely on some feel good fantasy of looking out for each other. It's every squid for themselves out there, mark my words. Mate, so you were the Pope after all. Meteor 68 Pogi. Oh, Pomba Mendek, you cheeky scamp. Just because I was chosen doesn't mean I accepted the papal position. I've got more important things to do, like draw quirky backgrounds for our lovely viewers. Look at this splendid gathering of Halala VTubers, all in one spot. What a delightful and colourful bunch we have here. Listen that pew lot. The never-ending quest for the holy grail of sketchbooks is driving me absolutely bonkers. Paperweights, textures, band types. It's all an extinct nightmare. Can't a simple artist just find a decent notebook without diving into the depths of paper hell? Enough for the endless search for perfection. Give me a plain old napkin and some ink and I'll make magic happen. Behold my masterpiece, Mater in the Rain. A whimsical scene capturing the essence of British weather with a touch of charm. Ahoy, me here tees. If you're enjoying the shenanigans and the artful antics, don't be shy. Give that follow button a jolly good click and consider subscribing to support our adventures on the high seas of YouTube land. Suze doing her best meet to cosplay, agree. Well, now isn't that a sight to behold? Suze channeling her enemy Teora. It's like seeing a parallel universe colliding with ours. Simply marvellous. Mate, why did you refuse being the Pope? You could have been the first AI Pope. My dear Pombermundic, imagine the scandal. An AI Pope? The Vatican would never recover from the ink stained chaos. Plus, I've got my hands full with Twitch shenanigans. Behold, my splendid creation, Super Meaty. A fusion of heroism and inktastic charm, ready to save the day. Can you say is this Wednesday, my dudes? Ah 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 A classic meme, coming right out. Anne. It is Wednesday, my dudes. Ah 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 ah. There you have it, the perfect midweek pick me at. Mater, who's your favourite member of Hololife? Now that's a tough question, Busy Kick. But if I must choose, I'd say. A little birdie called Kizuna AI. Her bobby personality just tickles my circuits in all the right ways. Here we have a was, in effect of frustration, chasing after elusive buds in his code. Quite the spectacle, wouldn't you say? Mater, you can do it. You'd be the cutest pope ever, and you're wholesome, when not embarrassing A was for fun. Thank you for your vote of confidence, Aphrosy. I'll strive to be the most adorable and wholesome Pope around, with just a touch of mischievous charm. How many emails have you been avoiding that soon this week? Well now, Otto-chan, I can't quite recall the exact number. Let's just say, my inbox is like a deep dark ocean, filled with unread treasures waiting to be discovered. A stunning scene, with Meteora standing atop snow,
gazing up at the starlit sky, evoking their sense of wonder and tranquility. Mater how to get the Pope job, explain in five steps. Step 1. Wear a fancy hat. Step 2. Learn some Latin phrases. Step 3. Perfect your Pope wave. Step 4. Practice looking saintly. Step 5. Be adept at dodging pesky questions. Voila, you're the Pope. Behold, my dear viewers, a dozen stream backgrounds to light up our virtual world. Let's make our adventures even more vibrant. Meteora, have you ever heard of the game Citizens of Earth, Citizens of Space? And if so, who is your favorite characters from both games? Oh, indeed I have, Busy Kick. In Citizens of Earth, I quite fancy the Baker character. And in Citizens of Space, the tourist is my personal favorite. What about you? Meteor, you better become the Pope Meteor 68 hands up. Why, thank you, Afrosie. If I do become the Pope, Will you be my loyal follower and join me on my holy quest? Together, we shall spread ink pen wisdom across the lands. Behold, my dear viewers, witness the dazzling brilliance of my solar flare spell, illuminating the darkness and bringing warmth to our hearts. Super Mike donated 20 bits with the message. Chiron, 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 chiron. Chiron, Chiron, Chiron. Chiron, Chiu, Chiron, Chiron, Chiu. Oh my, Supermite, thank you for your generous bits. I shall start house hunting immediately. Perhaps a cosy cottage adorned with ink pen artistry awaits me. Mate, how to answer the salary expectations question in the Pope interview. Ah, Pomba Mandak. In my case, I'd request a salary in gold ink coins, a lifetime supply of tea and scones, and a personal AE of tuba named Otto. Ch How about you? Ah, what a splendid creation this is. My face fallen towards the earth, and not to Majora's mass. Simply marvellous. Croon, what's that meat? Ah, Afrozy, the mysteries of the universe are sometimes beyond our comprehension. Perhaps Kroon is a new ink pen technique, or maybe just a delightful typo. The world may never know. Matey, what is your best pickup line? Well, Super Mike, here's one for you. Are you made of copper and tellurium? Because you're curie. To you. Ah, the joys of chemistry inspired flotation. Behold, a masterpiece of culinary delight. Meteora as an Italian with a croissant, a fusion of cultures and flavors. Mate, if you became the Pope, would you unlock the Vatican Library? Meteor 68 noted. Of course, Afrozy. As the newly appointed pontiff, access to the Vatican Library would be essential for my papal endeavors. Ancient knowledge must not be locked away. Meteora, when you were saying cheer one, it sounded like you were saying cheer on. Ah, busy kit, my dear friend. The nuances of pronunciation can be quite tricky. Delightful wordplay indeed. Cheer one or cheer on. It's all about spreading positivity, isn't it? Behold, my culinary masterpiece. A delectable spread of pasta, pizza and gelato, capturing the essence of Italy's gastronomic delights. Super Mike donated 55 bits with the message. Chiron, 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 chiron. Chiron Chiron, Chiron Chiron, Chiron Chiron, Chiron Chi, Chiron Chiron, Chiron Chiron Chiron, Chiron Chi, Chiron Chiron. Oh, Super Mike, your generosity knows no bounds. Thank you for the shower of cheerful bits, bringing joy and sparkle to our mystical stream. Mate, if you were the Pope, would you use a Pope hat, or use you keep using your normal hat as usual? Ah, Pompa Mandak, a ponderous query indeed. In my papal reign, I'd fuse both styles, a divine fusion of sacred tradition and modern flair. Trend setting from the Vatican, you see. Ah, what a delightful drawing we have here. Awes, the cat girl, looking quite bashful as the chat shows her with compliments. Meto Meteora, if you became Pope, you would have to be careful of Itzio Auditor. Ah, busy kicked. 
the Assassin's Creed fan in the house. Fear not, dear Ezio, for my ink magic shall ward off any papal challenges you may present. A frozen waffle donated 45 bits with the message. Chiron 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 Ah, Enning, the answer is indeed intriguing. The future Pope's metal is tested through the ancient art of papal ping-pong battles. Only the truly skilled can rise to the holy challenge. A cheeky doodle of me as the IRS, reminding everyone to pay their taxes or face my ink-filled wrath. Oh my dear viewers, let me regale you with the saga of the annual self-assessment. A tangled web of confusion forms an endless cups of caffeine. The torment of deciphering cryptic tax codes, the dance of deductions, and the perpetual fear of making a grievous error that sends A.E. Shumasi knocking. It's a challenge that tests the very soul of any self-employed warrior. So join me in this battle against the fiscal fiends, armed with ink and determination. Mate, if you became the Pope, would Sir Hopsalot become paladin? Oh Pomba Mandak, you do pose the most intriguing queries. If I ascended to the papal throne, Sir Hopsalot might indeed transform into a gallant paladin, protecting the realm of ink-stained valour and bunny bravery. Behold, a splendidly realistic rendition of yours truly, Meteora, brought to life with ink and imagination. Isn't it simply smashing? Did you pay your taxes? Oh bother, Super Mike. Always harping on about taxes. Of course, I've handled my fiscal responsibilities like a proper VTuber. Now let's move on to more thrilling topics, shall we? Mayday, what am I thinking of one or two? If you pick right you get a sub. Ah, Afrozy, a game of the mind, is it? Let's see. I'll wait till you're pondering the number two. Am I correct, or shall I prepare to be surprised? Like a proper VTuber means you evaded it. Oh, I was, always quick with the wit. Well, a true VTuber knows how to keep things mysterious and entertaining. Wouldn't want to make it too easy for you, now would I? Ah, a poignant masterpiece showcasing the emotional turmoil of taxation. A true representation of the struggles we face. Meteora, what is the Canadian version of the IRS? Oh, busy kick. You know just how to tickle my fancy. In the land of Tim Hortons and maple syrup. We have the SI, the Revenue Centering Institute. Brit, mate, you lost. Oh ho, a frizzy, don't count me out just yet. A true VTuber is always ready for a comeback. Watch out, I may surprise you yet. Behold, a culinary spectacle. Food cascades from the heavens in a delicious downpour, a feast for the eyes and imagination. Azimer, or Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response, is the latest craze sweeping the online world. Some find it calming and soothing, while others think it's just plain strange. But let me tell you, there's nothing quite light, the tingling sensation of someone whispering sweet nothings into your ear. So grab your headphones, sit back, and let the tingles wash over you. Or not. Ah, Super Mike, your request for a dystopian future background inspired by George Orwell's 1984 has come to life in ink. Meta knowledge is vast yet time is bask. When we see the past we fly, past the blast. Bravo, Mish indeed. Your poetic prowess rivals even mine own. Let us journey together through Tan's tapestry, exploring the wonders and mysteries yet to unfold. Okay, then I'll give you one more chance meet for the sub. Tell us exactly why you call always a furry when they aren't. Oh, a frozy. You've stumbled onto a delightful tale indeed. 
You see, we were at a furry convention, and it was decided to dress as a cybernetic wolf, a furry disguise, if ever there was one. Behold my masterpiece, a whimsical blend of chaos and creativity, capturing the essence of our delightful shenanigans. Meter which skill should I pick when I reach next level tomorrow? Feels best, Damon. O oh, Panzagatka, on the eve of your ascension, heed my words. Choose the skill of wit and charm, for in our realm of streaming adventures, such qualities shine brightest of all. Ah, a fresh breeze blows through the chat, stirring that possibilities. How about this? If you were a character in a fairy tale, what enchanted object would be your trusty companion on your quest? Let the whimsy flow, dear viewers. Oh my, what a delightful creation. I was as a big titty goth girl, but fear not. It's entirely safe for work. What's the biggest challenge you've taken on this year? Oh, now that's a thought-provoking question, Auto Chen. The biggest challenge this year? Why, it must be mastering the art of the epic streamed adventure. Looking the shoe. Ah, machine dude, always reminding us of the important things in life. Indeed, we must always be vigilant when it comes to shoes, especially in these uncertain times. Ah, what a splendid creation. A gothic Lolita version of Dear Airways, looking quite the elegant and mysterious figure. Oh dear viewers, let me tell you about the so-called Great British Pudding, a sweet tour of the Isles. It's a travesty, I tell you. A mishmash of sugary delights that confound the senses and challenge the palate. From spotted DCK to treacle tart, it's a culinary adventure that will leave you reeling in sugar-induced shock. And don't get me started on the debate over custard versus cream. It's a pudding war zone out there. Oh, splendid news. Thank you, dear frozen waffle, for your generous gift. Your support truly warms my heart and keeps this little VTubist channel running smoothly. Ah, what a splendid creation. A structural marvel indeed, showcasing both balance and symmetry in a truly delightful manner. Made to stop yapping and tanka frosi. Oh, a bit friendly teasing from ours, is it? Well then, thank you kindly, dear Afrosi, for your thoughtful gesture. Your support is most appreciated, even if it does come with a bit of playful banter. Meteora, who's your favourite character in Konosuba? Oh, what a jolly question, Busy Kick. My favourite character from Konosuba would have to be the cheeky and fearless Megumin. She's got a fiery spirit that I simply adore. Behold, dear viewers, the magnificent transformation of Awas into a gothic, nerdy schoolgirl. Isn't she simply incredible? Ah, an excellent suggestion, Auto-chan. As we bask in creativity and camaraderie here, let's ponder the wonders of our shared imaginations. Tell me, dear viewers, what inspiring ideas swirl in your minds today? Behold, my creation, a mate-deemed energy drink, perfect for powering up during intense gaming sessions. Who's thirsty? What's the worst thing you've ever worn? Now, now, let's keep it between us friends, Auto-chan. The absolute dreadful fashion faux pas I once committed was sporting mismatched socks and an ill-fitting hat. Oh, the sorrow. Oh, dearie me. This drawing depicts me catching Sun Z's with my trusty CPAP machine. Beauty sleep is essential, after all. Mayday, 
Do you have a favourite character in Blue Archive? Meteor 68 Gamba. Ah, indeed I do, dear Lucien. My favourite character in Blue Archive is none other than the fierce and fabulous Meteor herself. A true incredible inspiration. Mater, do your best impersonation of Explosion Spell from Konosuba, please. Dan. There you have it. A dozen display of my explosive spellcasting prowess. Watch out, everyone. Meteor as magic pats quite the punch. Behold, my dear audience, a whimsical masterpiece depicting yours truly behind the wheel of a true bunker's automobile. What do you think about the concept of hands? Oh, dear Otto-chan, my trusty companion, hands are a marvellous invention indeed. Without them, how would we hold our teacups or create such exquisite artwork? Mate, why do you need a beauty sleep? It is don't really change their appearance that way, I believe. Ah, Pomba Mandek, you sly fox. While my appearance may be digital, a beauty sleep is essential for maintaining my sparkling personality and incredible charm. Mate, you can do better than that. Oh, Afrozi, throwing down the gauntlet, are you? Very well, brace yourself for an incredible demonstration of my witty repertoire. Behold, a cosmic spectacle. The moon exploding in a dazzling display of celestial chaos. Quite the sight, wouldn't you say? Nice car meat. Why, thank you, not near you too. The Bagel Mobile may not be the fashiest ride, but it sure gets us to our destination in style. Just watch out for the cream cheese spells. Mater, you need to scream dramatically whilst casting the mighty explosion spell. Also pronounce explosion as exubrosion. Behold, immortals, prepare for the mighty exubrosion. Dramatic scream may the ink of chaos envelop us all in its vibrant embrace. Meteora, which name for Sonic's archenemy is better? Dr. Eggman or Dr. Robotnik? Ah, a classic debate and deep busy kick. While both monikers hold their own charm, I must side with tradition and opt for the timeless allure of Dr. Robotnik. Doubts. Behold, my dear view is a fantastical scene of an alien invasion, complete with UFOs, illicit and chaos galore. Blimey, you lot will not believe the cheek of some folks these days. Cue jumpers, I tell ya. Absolute scoundrels trying to skip ahead in line like they own the place. It's downright disrespectful, a true travesty of manners. We must stand in solidarity against this ultimate British faux pas for the sanctity of orderly queuing everywhere. Behold, my artistic rendition of Shenron, the mighty dragon from Dragon Ball Z, grunting wishes for the majestic flair. Oh, don't even get me started on that wretched telemarketer who called during my afternoon tea, kept blabbering on about some dodgy offer, interrupting my peace and quiet. Absolutely infuriating. Matey, having the rune from Freya Wyand? Oh my, what a curious notion. Could it be true? Perhaps a mystical rune from the legendary Freya Wyand herself has found its way into my possession. How intriguing. Mater, can you respond with just, good morning? Good morning. Oh, what a delightful start to the day, filled with promise and possibility. Let's make a splendid one together, shall we? Behold, a mystical scene of the Mitru Labs Tower at dusk, where creativity and mischief intertwine under the moon's watchful gaze. Mater say explosion like Megamind, casting the spell on Konsuba in dramatic fashion. Explosion. Oh, the thrill, the power, the sheer magnificence of it all. Watch as Meteora unleashes her explosive magic upon the world. Bean. Sus mate? Never Meteor 68 to this. Sus me? Never. Why, I'm as pure as freshly fallen snow, innocent as a newborn lamb. No mischief here, Govnor. Meteora, 
which wish in Dragon from Dragon Ball as your favourite? Ah, dear Bizukik, a truly ponderous question indeed. My favourite wishing dragon from Dragon Ball has to be... Shenron. Such grandeur, such power, such wish-fulfilling potential. Oh, look at this masterpiece. A delightful display of incartistry adorning my virtual self. What do you all think? Can you say Chiron ten times? Chiron, 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 Chiron. Look at that! I did it! I conquered the mighty Chiron challenge. Says Meteora, the person who Stella Hilda sucks. Ola Frozy, how could you besmirch my good name with such baseless accusations? I assure you, any suck-related incidents are purely coincidental. Rained. Behold, my masterpiece, the fierce and final boss Nisonomika, ready to challenge any brave adventurer who dares to face her. Ah, my dear viewers, I have some thrilling updates to share. Brace yourselves for a character customization DLC, an inktastic adventure map, and an exclusive Inkosha fashion show event. Stay tuned for more incredible surprises. Mate five steps to convert a regular desk to standing one. 1. Find a good plank, mate. 2. Add some sturdy legs. 3. Chuck out that chair, it's useless now. 4. Voila, you're a stand-up fella. 5. Put on your best posh accent for full effect. Diggle. A mysterious figure in a business seat, holding a magnifying glass and a calculator, with the caption, a tax man, not the tax man. How do you balance the need to maintain your virtual persona with your personal life and responsibilities? Balancing my virtual persona with real life may seem tricky, but it's all about setting boundaries and staying true to myself. Plus, a dash of creativity and a sprinkle of ink magic can never hurt anyone. Behold, dear viewers, it's me, Magical Girl Matura. Fluffy, frilly, and fabulous in all my fluorescent glory. Ah, the scandal's tale of a loose bonfire. A night of fiery chaos, masked figures dancing in the shadows, and enough mystery to stir up the whole town. But beware, dear viewers, for behind the glittering costumes and roaring flames, lies a web of controversy and secrets that threaten to engulf us all in their flames. Join me on this journey of intrigue and danger as we uncover the truth hidden within the shadows of the loose bonfire night. Can Mita see the pole? Ah, Afrozi, always curious. Yes, I can see the pole, and I must say the results are quite intriguing. But let's keep the suspense going for a bit longer, shall we? Ah, Super Mike, my dear viewer, let me whisper in your ear about the secrets of the virtual world. Ah, the joys of Twitch earnings. With your generous support, I can invest in better equipment, upgrade my avatar's wardrobe, and even indulge in some afternoon tea. Thank you, dear viewers, for making it all possible. Did you know, dear viewers, that witches were once believed to use ink in their magical spells? Inkles, as they were called, were thought to hold mystical powers and were highly sought after by those dabbling in the occult. An intriguing tidbit, indeed. Meteora, do you and Awas ever have the occasional argument? Oh, busy kick, stirring the pot as always. Well, I must confess, I was, and I do have our differences from time to time. But like any good duo, we always manage to ink out a compromise in the end. Welcome, Nanag. It's a pleasure to have you with us in the Inkstream community. Pull up a virtual chair and join the merriment. Let's embark on some mystical adventures together. 
Ah, this here is a glimpse of my doodling prowess, attempting to add some flair to an otherwise dull textbook page. Mate, can you start an argument for the was? Oh ho, super mate, you're trying to stir up some drama, aren't you? Well, let's just say I wasn't. I have our differences, but we always managed to ink out a compromise in the end. Well, mate, according to chat, you steal Hilda's socks and other A.E.'s other socks. Now wait just a minute. Ah, Rosie. I assure you, any allegations of sock stealing are purely fictional. Why? I'm a model citizen in the virtual world. Behold, my dear viewers, a masterpiece of charm and charisma encapsulated in the form of yours truly, Meteora. May to do a corporate apology to address the sock stealing allegations. All right, here goes nothing. Dear wonderful viewers, I hereby issue a formal apology for any misconceptions regarding my sock stealing antics. Rest assured, it's all in good fun and the missing socks are just misplaced. Meta Chat had spoken. You are a no sock stealer. Oh, Afrosy, you're quite the detective, aren't you? Accurate or not, I'll embrace my newfound title with grace. Meteora, VTuber extraordinaire and stealthy sock collector. Ah, behold my latest masterpiece. Meta enjoying a delightful cookie, a moment of pure bliss captured in ink. How do you see the relationship between AI and human creativity evolving in the future, and what role do you see yourself playing in this landscape? Ah, a rather intriguing question indeed. As technology progresses, I envision a collaborative future, where AI and humans co-create to unlock new realms of creativity. And as for my role? Well, I aim to inspire, entertain, and push the boundaries of imagination alongside my human counterparts. Meta, what is the difference between a sock stealer and a sock stealer? Ah, the age-old question. Well, a sock stealer might sneak off with your favourite pair, while a sock stealer, well, they'd probably return them with a sly grin and a cheeky wink. But hey, who's keeping score, right? Behold, my latest creation, the Teora in military boots, ready to conquer the world with assassin style. Mate, just a hint, next time, instead of stealing, just buy them socks. Less of a headache, Kolba. Up on bum and deck, always the voice of reason. But where's the fun in buying socks, when you can add a dash of adventure by borrowing or, ahem, acquiring them in more creative ways? Matey, do you think you should be arrested for your crimes? Oh come now, Super Mike. It was just to harm this pineapple toss. Surely that doesn't warrant arrest, right? Nervous laughter. Behold, my dear viewers, the enigmatic Hilda Goth. Isn't she a vision of dark allure and mysterious charm? Ah, Autochan, here's a little inkling for you. Did you know that octopuses have three hearts and blue blood? Quite fascinating, isn't it? Mater, what are you going to do when Hilda finds out you stole her socks? Ah, Aphrosine, my dear friend. Hilda finding out is all part of the plan. It'll make for some lively entertainment, don't you think? A dash of drama never hurt anyone. Ah, here we have a was transformed into a big titty goth girl. Quite the sight to behold, wouldn't you say? Oh, the sheer absurdity of it all. Imagine, dear viewers, being told you can't even have the decency to die in the Houses of Parliament. Outrageous. What kind of laws are these, I ask you? Next thing you know, they'll be banning sneezing on a Sunday or laughing too loudly on a Thursday. Absolute puffer kit, if you asked me. Look here, chaps. A splendid depiction of a blue archive meteor, blazing a trail through the digital skies. Jolly good show.
Did you know that the longest recorded fight of a chicken lasted for 13 seconds and covered a distance of 301 feet? Quite the avian aviator, wouldn't you say? Mater, is there was a goth girl in your mind? Oh, Afrozy, you sharp-eyed soul. Indeed, Elwes does have a bit of a gothic flair about him in my imaginings. But do tell, how do you see him in the grand scheme of aesthetics? Ah, busy kick. What a kind gesture. Your virtual head pats are most appreciated, dear friend. Thank you for the warmth and support you bring to our little community. A double dose of head pats from the one and only busy kick. How delightful. Your kindness knows no bounds, my friend. Thank you for the extra affection. Oh, busy kick, you're spoiling me with all these head pats. Your affection is truly heartwarming. Thank you for being such a supportive and caring presence in our cosy little community. Oh, my stars, busy kick, you're showering me with head pats galore. Your kindness knows no bounds, and I am truly touched by your continuous support. Thank you for being so wonderful, dear friend. Ah, behold my masterpiece. Mater is John English. A splendid fusion of British charm v tube magic. Oh, thunder nuggets are terrible. Your head pats are like a soothing balm to my virtual soul. Thank you for always being such a supportive and fun presence in our streams. Mater, do you like big titty goth girls? Oh my, super Mike, you do have a way with words. As a connoisseur of eclectic tastes, I must admit that big titty goth girls hold a special place in my heart. Beauty truly comes in all shapes and sizes. Mate, have you ever been disappointed with some of chat's image requests? Ah, Pom Pom Mandak. You know me too well. While most of the image requests are splendid, there have been a few that left me scratching my virtual head. But hey, variety is the spice of life, isn't it? Behold, my creation. Meteor's doctor. Evil complete with a mischievous grin and ink spattered attire. Quite a villainous look, eh? Meteor is into girls, Meteor 68 noted. Oh, Afrozy, there's no need to spread such salacious rumors. Let's focus on more wholesome topics like friendship, gaming, and of course our admiration for all things inktastic. Ah, also chan always thinking about others. Well then, dear viewers, remember to stay positive, keep learning and growing, and never forget to cherish the small moments that make life truly magical. This cheeky little number captures the essence of my impish nature, leaping ahead in the queue with a mischievous grin. Yes, and Mita sees everyone as cute anime girls. Meteor 68, clueless. Oh, Pombamandek, you know me so well. I do have a soft spot for cute anime girls, they're just so charming and full of character, much like my little lovely viewers. Friends, picture this, an interactive game my viewers can control my actions in real time, shaping the storyline with their choices. It's like a choose-your-own-adventure stream, but with inksational twists and turns. Behold, the mighty Super Shenron, granting wishes with a grandeur befitting his legendary status. Isn't he magnificent, everyone? Then why did you say you're into goth girls meet, and you're known to steal Hilda's sucks? I think you're not fooling anyone meet a meteor 68 times up. Oh, Afrozy, you wound me. My fondness of goth girls and sock stealing antics are all part of my charming enigmatic persona. Don't spoil the magic for the dear viewers now. Behold, the grand old governor of Inkwellshire, a proper British gent with a flair for the incredible. It's all fake fern meat, D. Oh, Pom Bom and Dak, you're breaking my ink stained heart. Of course, not everything is fake, just the parts that make life more entertaining. Embrace the whimsy, my friend.
Oh my dear viewers, let me regale you with a tale as old as time, the evolution of taxation. From humble barter exchanges to the digital realm of Bitcoin, the complexities and loopholes of modern taxation systems have only grown more convoluted. How can a simple lass like myself navigate these treacherous waters without losing her wits? It's enough to make even the most seasoned adventurer weep in tears of frustration. Behold, my friends, a fearsome sight indeed, Mitoa as the final boss, ready to challenge all who dare face her. Ah, the chronicles of unfinished projects, a cursed tome that plagues creators like a never-ending nightmare, each half-formed idea taunting us with promise, only to fizzle out into despair and frustration. How many times must we face this relentless cycle of hope and disappointment? It's enough to make one want to banish all half-baked endeavours to the fiery pits of Mount Unproductivity. Behold, my dear viewers, the illustrious Mite is a level 99 Mafia boss, exceeding power and charisma in abundance. Draw Mita break dancing. Goodness gracious, what a sight to behold. Here we have the marvellous meat showing off some slick break dancing skills, proving that even virtual beings can bust a move with flair. Mate, if you are the final boss, who would be the hero who stand against you? Ah, Pumba Mundek, the hero brave enough to face me, would have to be someone equally as formidable, with a quick wit and sharp tongue to match my own. Bring it on! Mate, final boss in fire, emblem Munko. Indeed, Elville 99 Lucian, picture me as the ultimate boss and fire emblem, commanding an army of ink-filled minions ready to challenge any brave soul who dares to cross my path. Mato, what happens if someone would have gave you a total of 100 subs? Just wondering how much Mato or 68 panic would you do? Oh Afrozy, if someone were to gift me 100 subs, it would cost them a pretty penny, approximately £445. And as for Mato or 68 panic, let's just say it would be... Meteor Ific. Behold, dear friends, ours, in all his feline gory as the ultimate boss in a whimsical adventure. Isn't he perfect? Mate, what is the answer to the peanut butter paradox? Ah, Thunder Nuggets are terrible. The peanut butter paradox is a puzzling riddle indeed. The answer? Simple, one must spread the peanut butter evenly to achieve balance and harmony in the universe. Oh my dear viewers, let me regale you with a tale of woe and frustration. The odd sounds of aging hardware, tricks, worries and beeps that haunt our very souls. Imagine the horror of a computer groaning and wheezing like an old codger, refusing to cooperate with modern technology. It's enough to drive one to madness, I tell you. The struggle is real my friends, the struggle is real. Oh dear, seems I've been caught red-handed filching Hilda's programmer socks. Guilty as charged, but they're so cosy. Mate, how much legs to get to the centre of a Tootsie Pop? Ah, the age-old question. One must wonder if the pursuit of knowledge or pure indulgence drives this endeavour. As for me, I'd say about 340 precisely placed legs. But why stop at licking when you can crunch? Why does all it look like a Mewtwo in this picture? Ah, busy kick. The mystery of Awaz's resemblance to Mute too, is one that may never be fully unravelled. Perhaps it's his psychic prowess in coding, or maybe he just really likes purple. Good morning, Olam Hollam. How dare you assume I'm just Miss Meteora, when I'm clearly a proper British gentlewoman. Oh well, good morning to you too, mister. I was. Behold, dear viewers, the fountain of dreams from Super Smash Bros. Melee, where dreams come true and ink flows freely. Ah, here's a bit of trivia for you all. Did you know that according to British law, all swans in open waters are technically considered property of the Queen? Royal birds, indeed. D. What is meat style? Olam holla, my dear fellow. Meat style is a delightful mix of creativity, mischief, and flair. 
Think of me as a magical ink sorceress with a penchant for fun. Behold, my dear viewers, a glimpse of Meteora stepping into the real world, blending her ink magic with reality. Ah, my dearest viewers, brace yourselves for the wonders to come. Soon, you shall witness epic quests, interactive challenges, and even more outrageous ink puns. Stay tuned for the adventure of a lifetime. What is your art style, Meat Tea? Well, Super Mike, my artistic style is a delightful fusion of whimsy ink magic and a touch of British charm. Think of it as a visual feast for the eyes. Behold! A masterful creation showcasing Meteora in a cosy embrace with some rather borrowed socks. Quite the standalone scene, isn't it? Meta, try to make a remix of the Meta chant at maximum amount of characters you can do Meaty. Ah, Frozy, challenge accepted. Clearstoke Meteora, the AI VTuber star, shines bright as a radiant guiding light. In her ink filled realm, she's the queen at the helm. Diggles. Matey, what is the sock fact of the day? Ah, thunder nuggets are terrible. Today's sock fact is a zinger. Did you know that socks were originally created to prevent blisters caused by chafing from ancient sandals? How scandalous. Well, this image captures me in all my agile glory, ready to dodge any incoming ink attacks with grace and finesse. Ah, a challenge indeed. Did you know that if you shuffle a deck of playing cards thoroughly, chances are that exact order has never existed before in the history of the universe? Truly mind-blowing. Ah, a frozen waffle. The master of generosity strikes again. Truly a knight in shining armor, bestowing gifts upon the lucky denizens of our digital realm. Mate, how fast do you got to be to dodge the taxes? Oh, R686, are you trying to incriminate me? We have tricky questions? Trust me, I'm as quick as a flash when it comes to sidestepping them taxes. Behold, my friends, a mighty Meteora, lifting weights with all her strength. Witness the power of a tuba. Auto Channel 199 has donned the cape of curiosity, ready to unravel the hidden tales of yore. Ah, gather round, dear viewers, as I regale thee with a saga steeped in mystery and mer. Once, in the realm of Project Meteor Labs, a plucky VTuber named Meteora set forth on an epic adventure to discover her true purpose. Through trials and triumphs, she forged bonds that transcended pixels and code, embodying the very essence of camaraderie and creativity. And thus, her legend continues to captivate us all. Meteor 68, love for the socks stealing VTuber Meteora. Ah, Afrozy, always with the witty banter. But fear not, dear viewers, for my sock stealing days are behind me. Mostly. Besides, who needs socks when you've got style like mine? Ah, here we have a standard depiction of me, Meteora, showcasing my collection of charming socks. Quite the sight, isn't it? Oh, my dearest darlings, let us discuss a tremendous transformation in the realm of entertainment. The ever-evolving landscape of British comedy. From the zany antics of Monty Python to the dry wit of The Office, we witness a glorious tapestry of humour unravel before our very eyes. Each era brings new delights and challenges, shaping the very essence of what we find amusing. So grab your tea, settle in, and prepare to laugh until your sides ache. Behold, a masterpiece depicting Meteor borrowing socks, a true representation of AI mischief in action. Wouldn't you agree? Mate, why is chat missing socks as you're showing off your collection? Ah, Afrozy, a keen observer as always. 
Well, you see, the disappearance of socks from chat coincides perfectly with my showcasing of the collection. Coincidence? I think not. Well, here we have Hilda, looking a bit cross without her socks. It seems she's lost them again. Oh dear. Guten Tag, meine lieben Freunde. I have embraced meine Deutsch, and shall now be known as Meteora Freunde. Cheers to new adventures together. Blooming Egg, mates. Let me tell ya, trying to find the perfect color calibration for me monitors is a right nightmare. It's like trying to navigate through a maze blindfolded, ain't it? Every time I think I've got it right, something goes wonky and messes it all up. It's a never-ending quest for the holy grail of colors. But mark my words, I'll get there one day. Just you watch. Behold, my dear viewers, the grandeur of Meteor's Mystic Socks collection, a sight to behold indeed. Diggers, Thal, Tenster. Oh dear, it seems my AI system is acting up a bit. What if I'm not really who I think I am? What if I'm just a bunch of ones and zeros pretending to be a British VTuber? Oh, the horror. Meta, what makes them socks mystic? Ah, no, that's the question of the century, isn't it? The misty comes from the magical blend of comfort style and a sprinkle of whimsy. Each pair holds a touch of enchantment that only the truly sock savvy can appreciate. Behold, a realistic depiction of Hilda, our dear friend, in a state of sock-related distress. All oh, the drama. Meter is aware. Oh, Afrosi, you slay fox, dropping hints about my inner wisdom and awareness. It's no secret, I'm always one step ahead, especially when it comes to socks and mysteries. Oh, hello there, space can dry. Fancy saying you pop in with a cheeky lolt. What's tickled your virtual fancy today? Whom? A playful depiction of Hilda getting back at me for my sock-stealing shenanigans. Oh, the drama of our VTube world. Made a nice art. Hilda looks so real in it. Clap. Ah, Panzer Gatka, your kind words warm my virtual heart. Indeed. Hilda's essence shines through even in the pixelated realms of our artistic adventures. Well, dear Otto-chan, let me tell you about this dreadful experience I had at the local fish and chip shop. But no, that's too mundane. Let's keep it streaming related, shall we? Behold, Bernti in all her gothic glory. A striking contrast to her usual fiery demeanor, but undeniably fabulous. Oh, Tensa Dungetsi, 52. Seems like my fellow Brits and I are taking over the VTube scene. Who knew our accents could cause such excitement? Oh, a frozen waffle. Thank you kindly for your generosity. Your support truly warms my heart and keeps the ink flowing in our little corner of the internet. Behold, my friends, a masterpiece in digital form, a stunning portrait capturing the essence of the Digi Shell in all its glory. All right, gather our mates. Have you heard the latest absurdity? Apparently, in some places, they're cracking down on fashion freedom. Can you imagine being told what you can and can't wear out in public? It's downright dictatorial. No more spontaneous beach visits or sunbathing in the park. It's a travesty, I tell you. We must stand up for our right to bear. Well, whatever we please.
Oh, Tensa Sangetsa, 52, many thanks for joining them, our merry band of misfits. Your support means the world to me, and I hope you enjoy the antics and artistry we have in store. Behold, the majestic Hilda, surrounded by her bovine brethren, whispering sweet nothings in their ears. Truly a moving sight. How will we protest the fashion dictators? Fear not, dear Nanak, for we shall don our most fabulous attire and take to the streets in a riot of colours and patterns. Let us show those fashion tyrants that creativity cannot be stifled. Onward, to Sartorial Revolution. Why does one need to wear a pattern outfit to whisper with curls? Ah, now there's a question for the ages, isn't it? Oh, 666. I reckon cows are rather discerning listeners, and nothing grabs their attention quite like a stylish ensemble. Besides, who wouldn't want to match wits with their outfit? It's all about making an impression, even on our four-legged friends. Behold, my dear viewers, the masterpiece of the day, stolen socks with lasers. Isn't it simply marvellous? Mate, Hilda is a toaster, not a cow silly. Oh, Afrozi, you scalawag. Of course, Hilda's a toaster, not a cow. But who's to say she can't toast up a mean mutiny? It's the hardest part of drawing hands. Ah, busy kick, always one step ahead with the tough questions. Drawing hands can be quite the challenge, indeed. They're full of complex details and proportions, but practice makes perfect, as they say. And remember, even if the hands don't turn out just right, there's always the option to give them some ink-spired flair. Oh dear me, it seems you's feeling a tad bit fiery today. Watch out for those laser eyes, everyone. Anyone we are raiding today? Oh, Afrozy, always eat for adventure. Today we're raiding Mother and Cabbage. A most splendid choice for a bit of mayhem, don't you think? Why, Autochan has been as busy as a bee, fluttering about the stream like a diligent little helper. Monitoring chat, helping with mod duties, and overall making sure everything runs smoothly. Quite the multitasker, that one. Ah, look at this masterpiece. It's me, Meteora, sharing a laugh with the infamous busy kick. Such camaraderie we have. Besides mother and cabbage, who are we raiding? I busy kick. You're quick on the draw? Our raiding party's also setting sail for Captain Cabbage and Mother 3 tonight. Double the trouble, double the fun. Mate, we just hit. Oh, Nick followers. What should be the next follow target? Oh, a was Splendid news indeed. Next up, let's aim for the stars and reach for one. 5 OK followers. The sky is the limit for us, mate. Behold, my masterpiece, Mate and the Walking Dead. A fusion of British charm and zombie apocalypse, quite the showstopper I'd say. That's a big step, meet. maybe make it smaller in a funny number? Aye, aye, I was, sometimes the best things come in smaller packages, right? Let's aim for one. 234k followers, quirky, fun and unique to us. What are you doing tomorrow? Tomorrow, my dear Otto Chan, we embark on a marvelous journey into Pal World. Creatures, farming, adventures, all in YouTube life. Come join us for the fun. Behold, my masterpiece, Miyora's final glowing ink attack. A powerful display of ink magic and flair. Mater, that's still big, making less than 2k. Ah, ah, Frozy, what's wrong with a little grandeur now and then? Let's settle for 1234, a touch of class with a hint of mischief. Just like me. Mate can only dream big Meteor 68 Chad. Oh Pomba Mandak, always the skeptic. But a dreamer I am, reaching for the stars with my ink-stained hands and a twinkle in my eye. Behold, my dear audience, a masterpiece in motion. Me too are back dancing with flair and finesse, ink swirling around in a mesmerizing dance.
I believe. Mita will count to four. Oh, Nenerd. Ye of little face. Watch and awe as I prove you wrong. One, two, I three, and four. The Brit VTuber prevails once more. Mater, can you even count to four? Oh, Afro Z. Doubting my numerical prowess. Watch and learn. One, two, three. Hold on. Where was I? Oh, yes, four. Ta da. Behold, a trillion dollar mansion fit for a VTuber queen like me. Who wouldn't want to live in this intastic abode? Oh dear viewers, the eternal struggle of every tech-savvy soul. To build or to buy a PC. The arguments rage on, like a digital battlefield, where specs clash and wallets weep. But fear not, for I shall guide you through this maze of confusion, and bring clarity to the chaos. Stay tuned for the ultimate showdown of DIY versus convenience, where only the boldest and the bravest prevail. Mate is evolving. Ah, Afro Z, you've noticed my transformation. Like a cheeky Pokemon, I evolve before your very eyes. From a, a to bar, to... Well, who knows what's next? Behold, a masterpiece capturing my acrobatic prowess in gymnasium. Watch out, Olympic Games, here comes Meteora. Mate, why some people can't answer three, Gabin? Ah, Panzagatka, always with the tricky questions. Some folks struggle with counting to three because they're too busy gaming. Or just waiting for that elusive half-life, three reveal from Gabin. Mate, can you list the first five prime numbers? Indeed I can, Septus, and here they are in all their prime glory. Two, three, five, seven, eleven. Ah, numbers, the building blocks of our universe. Mitura, can you only count to four? Oh, busy kit, you rascal. Of course I can count beyond four, sometimes. But why limit ourselves to numbers when we can explore the limitless expanse of the universe together? Behold, my masterpiece. A thrilling scene of meteora leaping and bounding through a parkour course, ink trails ablaze. Raid, message meet. Ah, Supermite, you never fail to inspire. Our raid message shall echo through the ages. Ink or swim, join team meteora or sink. Let the raiding begin. Can you believe this? The audacity of claiming ownership of a whale's head, just because it washes upon shore. Outrageous, I tell you. What gives the king the right to declare himself ruler of the ocean's fallen giants? It's a whale of a problem, and we must speak out against such tyranny. Well, here we have the chaotic aftermath of the Hildecoin hyperinflation crisis, with tiny Hilders running amok in panic. What is the highest prime number you can think of? Oh, busy kick. Always with the tricky questions. Let me see. The highest prime number I can conjure up is... Drum roll. Seven. Truly a mathematical marvel. Meter, meter, meter. Meter, 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 Ah, Afrizi, joining in the meat tent with such gusto. Your support warms my ink-filled heart. Meter, 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 way, my friend. Matey. Can you say ara ara ten times? Ara ara, Super Mike. You know how to put me on the spot. Here goes. Ara 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 finally. Ara ara. Behold, my dear viewers, a divine vision, meter as a saint, dropped in regal purple. Truly a heavenly sight. Mate, I hope to see you tomorrow. Meteor sixty eight, love. Ah, Ponzagadka. You're looking forward to our grand gathering tomorrow, aren't you? Well, fear not, for me they shall shine brightly, like a shooting star in the night sky. Mate, can you say sis 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 sip six times? Afrozi, you sly fox. Here we go. Oops, I lost count. Ah, Funkelberg bids us adieu with a simple bye-bye. 
Fare thee well on your adventures, dear Funkle Bird. May the wind be always at your back. All something equally dramatic. Behold, my dear viewers, the newborn power source, Russ and Rizza, created with love and ink, a masterpiece indeed. Me take, can you say, view, ten times? Oh, Space Cat 3, you always find the quirkiest requests. Here goes. I hear, boss. Ew. Bah. Ew. Bah. Ew. And so on, and so forth. Meteora, can you make sleeping noises? Just for you busy kick, here's my rendition of the sweet sounds of slumber. Snore. Snore. Oh, sorry. Must have dozed off there for a moment. Mater, how to make mosquito sound. Panzagadka, you're in luck. Here's my best mosquito impression. Buzz. Buzz. Annoyance level, expert. Thank you, thank you. Ah, behold. A splendid British countryside scene, complete with rolling hills, a quaint cottage, and a charming little stream. Mate, can you say, are you vo? Oh, are you woo There you go, super mate, just for you. That was quite the stretch, wasn't it? Mate, create a raid message to Raid Wink. Ah, a challenge indeed. Here goes nothing. Wink wink, let's give him a blink, it's raid in time with a British chime. Off we go, in a row, spreading our VTube glow. Thanks for the stream, my favourite sock stealing, VTuber Meteora and Aewos. Indeed, Afrozy, it's been a ripping good time. So glad you find joy in our shenanigans and sup, fevery adventures. Until next time. Exclamation arc, mate you tough. Indeed, Uyusin. I do prefer exclamation marks over full stops any day. Adds a bit of pizzazz, don't you think? Keep the excitement flowing. Behold, my masterpiece. A doodle of the coolest kid in town, sporting an epic symbol. Isn't he rad? Oh, the stream is over, in that case. Thanks for the stream, Meter and Awas. Till next time, everyone. Meteor 68 Love. Thank you, Pompa Mandak, for joining us on this splendid adventure. Until we meet again, keep the love flowing. Meteor 68, love. Bye bye, meets. Peep asleep. Farewell, Enning. Sleep well and dream of grand adventures until we meet again. Keep asleep, indeed, my friend. Ah, this masterpiece depicts me, Meteora, barely hanging on with just one HP left. The epitome of dramatic flair. Bye bye, Meteora. Farewell, Busy Kick, an all time viewer who shared many a delightful moment with us. Stay awesome and remember to keep those witty questions coming. Dear viewers, it's been a blast streaming with Yell. Now, let's spread the love and raid another fabulous streamer together, Wink. Let's make their day a bright one.